Other World's Monster Breeder, Volume 3, Chapter 74, Stolen Clothes. It's so great to have your own room after all. How many months have passed since I was summoned in this world? Someday, I had ate my dinner and I was laying on a bed. This mansion was purchased with the money obtained in the ore collection quest from some days ago. Yoko, the wraith spread some bad rumors about this place. We were able to purchase this mansion approximately one-tenth of its market price because of its reputation about that the demons were settled there. By the way, my actual state is the next one. Case higher suitor, job, monster tamer. Level 576 plus 6. Vitality 262 opening parenthesis plus 4 closing parenthesis. Strength 97 plus 1. Magic 208 opening parenthesis plus 3 closing parenthesis. Mana 2993 opening parenthesis plus 30 closing parenthesis. Divine Protection, Absolute Control, Skill, Capsule Ball, Judgment A's, Monster Combination, Contact, Soul Manipulation, Monsters Enslaved, Aphrodite, Carolina Barton, Celo Telrid, Yoko, Werewolf, Adamite Gillum, Kedamaro, Goblin Knight X15, Light Mash X6, Firefox X4, Mud Mash X2, Thanks to Yoko, the cute wraith girl, I've obtained a lot of experience. I noticed it in the same moment, but when I level up, it's limited mostly when I use monster and Aphrodite. I'm glad to be able to strength me in an efficient way, but is a bit disappointment don't be able to do it a serious way. Su tilde you 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 are Suddenly, I heard a familiar voice. You oh, are you? What the heck are you doing here? When I looked to the one who spoke. A beautiful girl in a bath towel came running toward me. Her name is Aphrodite. Aphrodite is blonde with blue eyes and has an outstanding style that can only have the self-proclaimed goddess of beauty. Having an impeccable appearance, in the heaven world, Aphrodite was the one who worked on sending humans to other worlds, but now, after some things, she is a companion who come to adventures with us. Clench that teeth apostrophe s tilde. I don't know the circumstances. But Aphrodite looks pretty angry. She tries to hit me with all her strengths. Yup. It was easy to dodge the Aphrodite's strike, thanks status differences. This goddess has her statistics lowered because the effect of curse that obtain the gods who descends to the land. Dodge. When I dodge her strike, Aphrodite hit hard her fist on the ground. Nice job. I can see a good angle. Let's keep that her cute bath towel was turned showing her ass a bit as a secret. You, why did you dodge it? While Aphrodite adjusts her loose towel again, she shows me teary eyes. To avoid the girl's strikes, Suti you're the worst. Yeah, I was bad. I'll ask you what is happening. Hey, fix your mood. I can't even explain why I'd apologize. I felt that I understood her mind, as the man who accompanied her. But I was wrong. Don't say that to me. I know that was Sutu who stolen it. I know. What I stole. My underwear. My underwear. Suta stole it while I was taking a bath, didn't you? Wait. I've not stolen anything. You liar. There are only girls in this place. You are part. Who else could take it? I'm serious. You can swear to God I've only been lying in my room. You swear to God. Which hits me. Then it must be truth. Dot. By persistently persuading her. Aphrodite finally seemed to calm down. Indeed, they're all girls, except me. The ones who lives in this place. So I understand that they doubt me the first time underwear disappears abruptly. Oh, let's talk about this with the others, maybe they know something. Dot well, I'm not really sure about Suta being the culprit, doesn't he? If it's so, inverted question mark would you forgive me? Would you forgive me if I'm honest? I say it again, this goddess is too dumb in some ways. Well. That's something about her that I can't hate, Tilda. It's because of that that I'm looking for the culprit of the theft of Dee's underwear, so please tell me if you know something that can be useful. Then, to bring the light about incidents truth, I've gathered the girls in my room, having a gathering. A, was not Sutasan who had been stealing our underwear? The name of the girl who make that question is Seal Otelrud. Seal has a small body of about 150 centimeters, and the cuteness of a pet. Hold a minute. Seal was also attacked by the underwear thief. Dot yes, it has been occurring since we are living in this mansion. Why don't you said that before? Dot the truth is, I have my own reasons to fault Sutasan. From my point of view, he is the most suspicious. Dot. What? Apparently, it looks after I took advantage by Seal's vulnerability, I'm seen like a devil forcing her to do lewd things. Master, to tell truth, 
It happened to me sometimes. Carolina Burton is the name of the girl who report the theft after seals. Suspended silver hair is Carolina's style, with red eyes and a magical essence different from that of Aphrodite. Carolina was born as a special race called Vampire. You would be surprised if you know that despite her appearance her age excesses the 300 years old. You too, Caro? Yes. I thought it was the master who has been giving them a good use, I let it pass because of that. Now that I know that the thief is someone else, my bloodlust is increasing. Dot. What? Apparently, Carolina sees this as an annoyance due the thief is someone who get in sneaking on the night. You know, I can't think of anyone than Master doing this. That's the Wraith Yanka who look at me like a scum, as ever. This girl with her hair rolled up is positioned below Carolina, working as a servant in the mansion. Yeah, yeah, no matter what you think. You can only think of Sutu as guilty. In the Suta San's case, the way he behaves is terrible. Master, if it's you who steal my underwear, I'll never look down on you. I'll give you all of them if you want to. Apparently, my persuasion doesn't have any effect on them. Damn it. These girls are synchronized with each other. They treat me like an animal. I'm certainly interested in erotic things. I won't deny that, but I never could be an cute underwears thief. If I do something lewd, I'll be louder and worthy. Ah, the four girls who listened my words had a strangely convinced face. That was good. It seems the doubt has been cleared up. Anyway, isn't bad that they were convinced with that? These four girls. How did they see me? Chapter 75 True Guilty That night, I was working on the trap preparation to repel the underwear thief. Hey. Why do you are taking them of me? Right now, Aphrodite was trying to stay away her panties from the monster known as Firefox I just summoned. Indeed, it was soon to summon a goblin knight, so I used the foxes who could smell any intruder. It's strange that just been out, the foxes try to take off the girl's panties. Whatever, leave it, this is to catch the underwear thief, be patient. Wow, I understand that. But... Why my panties, weren't any other girl available? There is no other girl so beautiful as D, then it's not reasonable to think that the criminal could want to steal preferably the pretty underwears of a girl like you, eh? What? Oh, that's very effective. I noticed recently that Aphrodite is not very used to me praising her appearance, it's a small habit from the self-proclaimed goddess of beauty, asking her something, if you praise her appearance, the success rate will increase, please. D. I can only trust a person so great as you. Help me get the underwear back. When I looked her, I noticed because of her expressions that she was in a very high spirit. Hey, it can't be helped. I have the need to cooperate if you ask me that way. Thanks for give me the expected answer. If you raise her ego a bit, she'll say yes to most things. This goddess is truly dumb. Aphrodite said, it's very embarrassing, please turn back. She order me putting the newly removed underwear on the right place. This conclude the preparations. Dot do you really think that you can capture the underwear thief using this trap? In contrast to the simple thinking goddess, Seal is quite cautious. I don't think it had a problem, most likely the culprit is one of the ghouls working at the mansion. How can you be so sure? I decided give Seal an explanation about my reasons. There is just one reason do I think the guilty is a ghoul. And that reason is because they've been guarding the mansion the whole time. Originally, this property belonged to Yemko, and was guarded by her guardian so that no suspicious person could approach her. Although it can be successful once or twice, also it can be said that it is impossible for an invader to come into the mansion usually. Then, it's reasonably to think that is an internal crime from someone who could be freely wandering around the mansion. Indeed. The culprit should be someone grotesque. Without doubt the probability is very high. Seal, who listened my words, shook her head and accepted my reasoning. Regard Yanko's words. Ghouls haven't sexual desire, but his nature seems to be strongly rooted in memories of when they were alive. But then, it doesn't have to use newly used underwear. Why not look for newly purchased underwear? Ha! Huh. You just don't understand a man's hearth. To men, newly purchased underwear is just a cloth. The true underwear's value will only appear after a beautiful girl wear it. Tilda. Then, we were watching the room during near two hours. Suddenly, a small figure entered the room. Cap Rat, Grade G, 1-5. Vitality, 15. Strength. 5. Magic power, 5. Mana, 1. Skills, 
None. What's that? Is that a skillet lid? Object's length is near of 15 centimeters. The creature had a big head. It appearance is the same as a cartoon character. For some reason, the creature in front of me had a skillet lid on its head. Is that a cap rat? Do you know what is that thing? Yes. Cap rats are monsters settled mostly on abandoned houses. They're almost harmless, but they have a habit of always carrying something on their heads. I see. So it was that. This may not be the first time she's seen wild monsters in the town. The cap rat entered the room, wandering around. It stops finally in front Aphrodite's panties. Hey! No way. I see. I understand now. Now I was able to identify the true guilty in this incident. The cap rat removes the lid from its head, replacing it with the panties that we left there before. A pervert. I can't stop myself crying unwilling. The figure of a big rat carrying panties on its head was something surrealistic. Suta-san. Let's court it quickly. Understood. After we were crime's witness, we opened the window and entered the first floor's room. Go, capsule ball. I threw a capsule ball, which can beat the cap rat in one blow. However, there was a problem. The cap rat is smaller and faster than other monster. I've threw balls several times from the beginning, but none of them shows any sign of even being able to hit it. Shit. This rat is too fast. Suta-san. The cap rat is running to the outside. You're not going to escape. Maybe this was my last chance. I throw the ball toward the rat who tries to escape trough the windows. Good. Perfect pitch. The ball I threw hit straight the rat's head scaping from a straight line. Good. However, something sudden happened. Some way, the cap rat continued to run toward the back of the garden not captured by the ball I threw. Dot huh? Didn't the strike hit it? Oh, indeed. I guess that happened. What the heck is happening? Don't mind if it's a god nor a demon. My capsule ball has the effect to capture 100% at times when hits. It was the first time a monster can't be caught although the ball doesn't hit. Dot that's right. This is it. When I looked the ball, I understood everything. In other words, the ball thrown had hit the object above the cap rat's head. I could confirm that the light blue panties that Aphrodite had worn before were now inside the ball. Sutasan. You should return that underwear to Aphrodite-san. Seal, forgot all what you saw, understood? That's something bad. Is the same thing than the cap rat. Indeed. It could be that always have been a real underwear thief in my heart. Er. Uh. Okay. I was originally subjected to unfair treatment when Aphrodite was in the bath towel. I'd be nice if could have this compensation. T.N. Fair enough, I think. Anyway, I can only say one thing. Goddess panties. Get. Chapter 76. Two ranks special promotion. Chloe Grice. Race. Kate Scythe. Age. 18. Congratulations. After a careful deliberation, Suta-san's adventurer rank has been promoted to D. When we arrived to the guild, the receptionist Chloe said that words. Receptionist Chloe is a beautiful high rank girl with a small body and semi-long black hair. From the upper part of her head, that cat ears of her looks so cute. A. Eh? Dot that is something good to me isn't not too much time ago I was there Frank so probably I'm a little better now but I'm still feeling that I haven't progressed anything there are eight ranks from S to G been D still low comparing it with the others naturally I've been doing this job for a long time but I've never saw someone to be promoted two ranks at once as guild they seems to have appreciated Suta San's successful in all collection quests. Is that so? It's a good thing my adventurer rank rises anyway. As my rank increases, the types of quest we can choose will increase accordingly. As Chloe's words, adventurers ranked from D to B seems to be at most popular medium ranked. Indeed, you could say if you have a steady pace, you can reach the medium rank in a few months after becoming an adventurer. These are the new quests that you can request. I organized and put them in a file. Wow, it's very thick, isn't? Sorry, but this time you can request two at once, because it's a hard time to organize the documents. When I received the file from Chloe, I sat on the guild bench, determined to look for the day's work. Well, well, what should I choose? I still having enough money from the ore collecting quest, so that doesn't mind me. I don't want to rush to elevate my adventurer rank, as I'm an impatient one. This time I'll choose some job 100% as hobby, Tilda. Hey, Suta, what kind of quest did you choose at the end? I thought of several, but today I chose going to the Her Arrange 1. Her Arrange is not that a dangerous place where appears dragon races monsters? Seal, who listened my idea, 
let out a voice which seems to be about crying. They're dangerous? Naturally. Dragon race have a combat power that may be the strongest among all monster. Have you forgotten the fight against the cockatrice? I remember, that's why I thought it had worth to go. The cockatrice we have met before was certainly a strong foe beyond expectations. I didn't feel comfortable, as the breath of flames shooting from his mouth was quite intense. Hee hey, but I have the ability that my chance of capture is 100% of capturing any monster I throw a capsule ball at. Battling against dragons could be dangerous. But the stronger is the enemy, the greater the reward. This is wrong. You're not acting like Suta. You're almost always a chicken that doesn't go to the next map unless you've leveled up your team like an RPG. I must be agreeing with Aphrodite-san. Why the change in your usual behavior, master? I've certainly been progressing in quest in a careful way rather than a little more recklessly. I'm stepping bit by bit the brigged instead of you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. It's logical that these two girls ask themselves about the change. A dragon is a man's romance. I'll be free to handle the great dragon as I wish. My heart started to warm just imaging it. If it's possible. I'd like to tame a real dragon, not a weird one like cockatrice. Even if you say dragon, there's several kinds. Personally, I prefer a western style lizard design rather than an oriental snake type. A lot of heads. With a lot of heads would be pretty neat, because it would impose a frightening atmosphere. Dot. Maybe my explanation impressed them? Three beautiful girls was watching me like they were seeing a freak. Chapter 77 Let's arrange the attribute equipment. Then, I decided for today's expedition we'd walking in the opposite direction to our destination. What's wrong, Suta-san? This isn't the way to her. Arrange. Yeah, I know it. We're going to catch a dragon. But I'm thinking of get prepare ourselves properly. According to the guide received from the guild, there's a lot of fire magic specialized monsters, including dragons, in the her range. I think I'm a trained player. There's no reason to neglect security measures, since we know the enemy. We must replace our equipment with strong equipment against said magic of that attribute. Guild authorized general store. That I thought, so I decided to go to the general store I visited before. Edgar Martin. Sex. Male. Age. 31. Welcome. Welcome to the official guild general store. When I entered the store, a fashionable, small height, middle-aged man appeared, greeting to me, according the information that Chloe gave me. Guild general store can be called like a store where you can find everything, since gather goods of any kind, useful for adventurers. Customer Sama, what kind of product are you looking for today? Uh, do you have any armor that's resistant to fire attacks? Sure. Of course, wait a minute. After a while for a bit, Edgar San took a big box from the back of the store. Fire Fairy Clothes, Grade D. Clothing that has received the blessing of a Fire Fairy, with excellent fire resistance. What was inside the box, was likely different to the attribute armor that I've imagined. Oh, these Fire Fairy Clothes are really effective? Of course. This is a guild authorized general store, you can be sure that is not a trick to deceive customers. Dot. Edgar San's attitude likes me. My eyes of judgment back up his words, so there's no way he'll fool me. But I have just one thing to say. Inverted question mark why the fabric of this clothes is so little. Regard design is the same. Then a bikini back on my world. If skin is so exposed, it's probably that the risk burn injury is likely to increase rather than decrease. TN, just up EG games logic. Hey Caro. Do you think that this gear is truly effective? Yes. It's true that gives a insecurity felt from its appearance, but the most important is that you are receiving a fire fairy's blessing. The risk of being deceived by a bastard is lower in the skilled authorized general store. I see. Is this bikini same than an armor? The defensive power in the world of games is not determined by the fabric covered area. In some cases, the protection of bikini armor equipment may be better than a sturdy armor. Wow. They have a lot of nice clothes. Hey Suta, can I take some of these clothes? I want to buy one of these by all means. My work as blacksmith is dangerous due burn injuries. These clothes will make the work go faster. Aphrodite and Seal, which were looking at the various designs of fire fairy clothes that were in the box, had their eyes shining with excitement. Alright, is it okay, even if the girls don't mind it? Incidentally, the high degree of exposure of the clothes against fire is only in the designs for women, while that for men was very common. I still feel a little strange about all this, but as long as it works, 
I don't think we should worry. Chapter 78 Her Aru Mountain Range I arrived at our destination, the Her Aru Range. It's located at the foot of the town of St. Bell, and it takes about half a day to get to here, so to make the most of the time I've decided to use one of those vehicles that use a rock turtle monster instead of horses the turtle car. I wonder if the speed is about 40 km per hour. There was less shaking than I expected. The ride itself was quite comfortable. However, the problem was the fare. The price is 50,000 coal, quite high. Considering it's a round trip, the total cost is 100,000 coal. While exploring, we'll keep the driver waiting for a whole day. Considering the risk of being attacked by a monster before reaching our destination, he probably wouldn't come here without charging so much. Anyway, this is. No, nothing can take away my idea of getting a cool dragon and going home. Oh, that's the Haru mountain range. White smoke rising from the top of the mountain, where the crater was exposed. By the way, this area known as Haru range seems to be an active volcano that erupts about once every 10 years. When I was in Japan, I never saw an active volcano. So I was deeply impressed when I saw this one. Uh oh if I'm wearing the fire fairy clothes but. What do you think? Well. Don't you think it fits you greatly? Kyukaku. What? What's your answer? Is the stimulus from my seductive body too strong for you, Suta? Dot. Damn it. I'm sorry she's not wrong. Apparently, for Aphrodite, who had a heart attack body that would appeal to any man. The fire fairy clothes was a perfect fit for her because of the design of the clothes. No matter how much you think about it, it's not good to go to a volcano dressed like that. Even her breasts that are unnecessarily accentuated look somewhat exposed. Thank you for giving me a new armor, master. I will wear it very carefully. You, If you look at me like that, it's embarrassing to show you, Suta-san. When I summoned Carolina and Seal from inside the ball. They were both wearing the fire fairy clothes. Sure, they reduced the exposure by wearing jackets and pants, but I think they still look too sexy. Suta, let's go quickly. I've never seen dragons and I can't wait to find out what kind of monsters they are. Sure, we're coming. I started climbing the mountain while watching Aphrodite's ass in front of me. I must calm down a little bit. There's no time to be fascinated by the figure of those three beautiful girls just for today at least. Anyway, we'll have to hurry the expedition, because if we can't get back from the mountain by sunset, we'll have to walk back to the city, as there's a cancellation fee for the turtle car. There is a time limit due to the demand for transport media. Tilda. So, it's been about an hour since we started climbing the mountain. A dragon. There's a dragon. After a while, Aphrodite who was ahead of us, screamed as she pointed to the front. Really? When I looked up, I saw the face of the dragon I'd always dreamed of. It looks like a western dragon. It's clearly from the dragon race. I like that this is the first one I capture, but my greed calls me to get more. Lisard Manel V115 Grade E. Vitality 85. Strength 60. Magic 40. Mana 30. Skills. Fire Magic Beginner. Where is the dragon? I put on a sad expression as soon as I saw it completely. I thought I might finally meet a dragon and I've been hit hard. I'm disappointed, huh? Wherever you look, it's a dragon, don't you see? Can I ask you where you see a dragon? Its face? Yes, it looks like a dragon when you see only its face. You. Why do I feel like I've been defeated? Like Aphrodite said, if you saw the Lisardman from the neck up you'd think it was a dragon. But I won't accept it. I won't accept it as a dragon. It's quite annoying to watch the Lisardman blinking in that peculiar and strange way that reptiles do. I feel frustrated. Cooper. Three Lisardmen who noticed our presence rushed towards us while raising a strange voice. They were about five feet tall. The Lisardman walked in a bipedal fashion. Having a human figure if you looked more closely. Good. The Lisardman's grade is E. I have E grade humanoids, too. Gob -u -u -u. So, I summoned three goblin knights. Goblin knights equipped with iron armor made by seal have a rather fierce aura. Go. Gob -u -u. The next moment, they jumped at it. The three goblin knights knocked the Lisardman unconscious with a blow from the bronze mace they carried. What? What happened? No, number. Certainly. The Lisardman's equipment was just a tree branch, so I was hoping my goblin knights would have the balance in their favor. 
but wasn't it too easy to beat them? I quickly checked the status of the Goblin Knights. Goblin Knight LV 12 15 grade E, Vitality 96, Strength 131, Magic 64, Mana 45. What? Their levels have risen. Immediately after using Synthesis, Goblin Knight levels, which was supposed to be 1, had grown beyond 10 without me noticing. You, over there, who gave you such gentle training. Remember what will happen to you when you get back on the ball. Gobaku. A goblin knight looked at Carolina, shaking with fear. I see. The goblin knight's level was improving dramatically as a result of Carolina's training. When I saw the inside of the ball using my mind manipulation skill, I witnessed the scene where Carolina was training the goblins. Um, I really envy them for being punished by her. Captured monsters data. Lee Sardman. Encyclopedia no number 51. Dragon race. Grade E. Level 1. Vitality 85. Strength 60. Magic 40. Mana 30. Skill. Fire magic beginner. A monster belonging to the basic level of the dragon race. Its individual fighting skill is low but it has great intelligence. Depending on how it is nurtured, there is a possibility of obtaining various evolutions. Chapter 79 Versus Magma Rock I got tired. Suta, let's stop for a while. Oh, I think we can rest. Apparently, we've already seen part of the Haru Mountain area. Although I was planning to walk quite a bit, when I see the peak from where we are, the distance we've traveled is about one five of the mountain. No matter how much I think about it, it's impossible to explore everything in one day. It seems that it will be better to bring camping supplies for the next time you come. Master, the food is ready. Thank you, Caro. After a while, Carolina spread a blanket on the ground and made tea. We've been walking since morning, so I can feel that the sandwiches made by Carolina taste much more delicious. It was right after we started to get the feeling of being on a picnic, when it happened. Why is that rock falling over here? Magma Rock, Grade G, NV4 slash 5, Vitality, 2, Strength, 8, Magic, 33, Mana, 2, Skills, Fire Magic Beginner. At first, I thought there was a rock slide, but it seems that's not all. It's a face. Looking closely, there's something that looks like a face on the rock surface. It was a rock monster about 12 inches in diameter, that was suddenly rolling towards us. Suta-san, we should go. The one who shouted was Seal, the mineral maniac, who first supported this excursion. It's strange. If you're a mineral lover, I think this is a scene where you'd like to see the monster as close as possible. Is something wrong? It's a magma rock, it's a dangerous monster, it's better to leave as soon as possible. Wait a minute. Is that magma rock such a strong monster? There's only one enemy, and from what I can see, his stats are below the Lissardman. His body seems to be small, and he doesn't seem to be a monster that's particularly threatening. Number. Their fighting ability is not much, but magma rock has a habit of exploding if it feels threatened. A suicide bomber? Exactly, and it's quite painful. Adventurers who approach them thinking they can beat them easily, end up getting seriously injured. Dot. Ouch, such a monster with a self-destructive skill. No doubt, it's a classic in the world of RPG games, as it's a widely used element. It's hard to use if it's on your side, but it's much more annoying when you have it as an enemy. It's a sad existence that brings with it the fate of becoming a hated person in any game it appears. Wait a minute, we don't have to run away. You, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to run away while holding a sandwich. Aphrodite remained quite calm sitting comfortably in the path of the magma rock. The rock that can be extracted from the body of magma rock is light and strong. It also has the property of always being kept at a constant temperature. I've heard that it can even be used in place of cushion. As a napping enthusiast, I can't pass up this opportunity. Unbelievable, Aphrodite. Your attitude right now is really amazing. I'd like to learn about your behavior today. Sicko. The magma rock attack began by being close to her. The magma rock leans towards Aphrodite, trying to give her a little bit of a tackle. However, despite the speed that magma rock's body had, it seems that it did not damage Aphrodite's large breasts, shaking them with only a poyo poi sound. Ha. Ah, it doesn't hurt at all. Suta is being too fearful. A breast shield. Really something to fear. With Aphrodite's large breasts. Is it possible to easily evade such lower level monster attacks? Well, since I'm catching you, let Suta get you in the ball as soon as possible. Dot R, girls. Sometimes they're weird, but they do a good job. 
Aphrodite hugged her body tightly to the magma rock to seal her movements. It simply stands still, as if it was already resigned to this. I guess now I must capture him. Dot is it about to explode? Release the magma rock carefully. However, my thoughts were clouded by Seal's scream. What? So far, it's a felt the dangers of Aphrodite's body. Suddenly, the body of the magma rock gradually changed to a dark red color. Kaya, here. Take it Suta, get it. And the worst thing happened. What was this goddess thinking of throwing magma rock at me? What? Is this goddess an idiot or what? I grabbed him as fast as I could. But what do you want me to do now? Even if I tried to catch him with the capsule ball, I have both hands full and it's impossible to throw it. However, I can't let go of the magma rock. It has an aura around it that looks like it could explode as soon as it receives a stimulus. Oh. This is it. I'm completely dead. Even Grey G monsters can kill you. I should have anticipated that. Ah, at least I would have liked to have graduated from Virgin. Since I was summoned to a different world, although I had some opportunities, it ended up becoming a life of remorse in various ways. Suck -hoo 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 -hoo. With a shout, the magma rock begins its suicide attack. I see. So, it's true that when you're about to die everything looks very slow. As I predicted, I could see the exact moment the temperature of magma rock rose suddenly, as well as the moment it broke into hundreds of pieces. Dot master, aren't you hurt? What are you saying, huh? What's this all about? As I felt the air around me get cold, the magma rock in my arms was locked in an ice dome, deformed by the explosion. You mean? You did this, Caro? Yes. At the time of the explosion I used magic to lock up the body of the magma rock, so it seems there's no danger anymore. Dot. Carolina is great. If I'm in trouble, I can trust her to save me from any trouble. I haven't felt as happy living as I do now. Sorry, sorry, I didn't expect it to blow up just by holding it. It's certainly a funny thing. When did magma rock feel danger? I know now. Magma rock just before it exploded had a satisfied expression on its face. Maybe. It was because Aphrodite's breasts are too big and the magma rock was being choked to death by them. Suffocate between a woman's breasts is one of the causes of death that any man longs for. Chapter 80 The Mountain Hut About an hour has passed since the battle with magma rock. As before, we continued to climb the mountain without finding a dragon. Sutasan, if we don't return soon the turtle vehicle will be gone. Dot I know, although going down will be easier than going up. The time we can use to explore is very short. Even if we take that into consideration, shit, Aphrodite seems happy to get the fragments of magma rock. But I'm not happy at all. It is too uncomfortable for me that the only thing I managed to capture was Lee Sardman, even though they are quite a lot. Nothing. There's nothing else? Right now, it doesn't have to be a dragon. If I get a good catch that's worth the trip, I could descend right back home. What is that? When I was considering that, we could see some buildings made of wood in the middle of the mountain. Is it a resting place for adventurers? I thought about it, but it seems quite strange. The hut had a strange shape that would make you think, a witch lives there? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is amazing. Seal, who suddenly raised her voice, started running towards the hut. Did you see anything? Seal, this hut is amazing. Everything in it is a craft made by a series of advanced techniques. It's bad to have it on this mountain. It feels like the spirit of the craftsman is slowly dying. Oh, I see. Is that bad? Seal, who had her eyes glowing, looked as excited as she did at the mineral collecting quest. Seal, who was very much into her hobby, entered the hut without thinking. It looks like the door is open. Hey Suta, let's take a break. I feel very tired. Yes. I was thinking the same thing. We've walked quite a bit, I feel my feet could go numb. Then, let's take a short break at the hut and then continue on our way. We've found a rather strange hut, but everyone seems to be happy and this place looks quite peaceful. Tilda. Wow, this is amazing. When we entered the hut, a pile of empty bottles that filled the floor jumped into my field of vision. A couch. There's a couch. Phew. Ooh, it's really fluffy. With this, I can survive. Dot. I still think it's strange. There's evidence that someone lived in this hut until recently. If so, who was it? Why? I wonder if they really live here, in such a remote place. Dot don't move, I'm a demon hunter. Shortly after I had that doubt, a woman's voice echoed across the room. Rick government, race, gnome, age, 23. When I looked at the person who spoke, 
there was a woman wearing a hood. She looked at us with a knife in Carolina's neck. Caro, I can't believe it. No way Carolina can be in that situation. No, did she just say she's a demon hunter? Why would she discover Carolina's identity? I thought only gods like Aphrodite could discover the human disguise that Caroline wore. Other human beings. Why? Why are you working with demons if you're humans? The hooded woman asks angrily. To be exact, a goddess is with us too, but I'll keep quiet as that would make things much more confusing. That voice. Is that you, master? She seal. Why are you here? The woman named Riku saw seal, showing a surprised expression, removed her hood. Teacher? Now that I remember, I've heard of her before. Seal's teacher is a great blacksmith and adventurer and it was said that she disappeared two years ago when she was on her way to a demon subjugation quest. Originally, Seal began to accompany us on our journey as a purpose to find her teacher. I'll explain everything right now, so why you don't let go of our partner for a moment? When I tried to persuade Riku, she reluctantly sheathed her knife. Good, good. Where should I start from? Of course, I thought of not telling her all the things that have happened but it's still risky for her to think I'm lying to her. So, I decided to explain what happened to this day in an honest way. Chapter 81 Opposition Oh, all that happened? I decided to explain to Riku several things that happened to us. Of course, I can't tell her everything, so I told some lies. First of all, I don't know anyone but Aphrodite, of course since I was summoned to this world. Sutakun, First I must say thank you. Thank you for saving Seal. She wasn't supposed to do something like that while I was away from Saint Bell. Number. We both benefit from having saved her, so it's okay. Originally, Seal and I met when slave traders were collecting her parents' debts. Riku-san seemed sad, thinking she was responsible for Seal falling into such a dilemma. Dot that's why you are been accompanied by a monster, Carolina, who was trapped in Bakura's shop. That's right. Caro isn't an evil demon like you think, Riku-san. I've certainly heard very bad rumors about Bakura. Your brave behavior is commendable. It was good. Persuading her with my words, it seems that Riku-san has believed what I said. It seems I was able to hide what I wanted properly, but soon after I calmed my heart down. But it's a shame. No matter what the circumstances, I can't let a demon go. What? Riku-san pulled a twin sword from his waist and jumped towards Carolina. Carolina, who was surprised, quickly took up a fighting position, repelling Riku-san. Wow. Unlike before, you have a great speed of reaction. But your friends made me back off earlier anyway. Riku-san. Why? Sutakun, you're committing a misunderstanding. There are no good demons in this world. She's just deceiving on you. Dot. No, Riku-san is wrong. I do not believe Carolina is an evil demon. If Carolina was really an evil demon, she would have killed me for using her before. Now I know. Because of the way you fight, you're a veteran demon of the Demon Lord's army, right? Caro is not like Riku-san thinks. A veteran demon of the Demon Lord's army? That's not true. The gentle Caroline I know couldn't cooperate with an organization as terrible as the Demon Lord's army. I'm sure Riku-san is in a misunderstanding. Master. Please stay back. There's no point in saying that to someone who hates demons. Dot I understand. I'm going to trust Carolina as far as I can. That's why I decided to keep quiet to watch the two of them fight. It's a pretty strong attack for a human. I also noticed what Carolina said. Riku-san skillfully manipulates the two swords she has, even if you compare her to another human. I who got a goddess and gained a lot of experience. My speed statistics could be on par with Riku-san. Q. Reduce. A good move. I must pay my respects to you. So I will fight seriously. She stated immediately after Carolina attacked. A pair of bat wings grew on her back, while two large fangs poked out of her mouth. Vampire. Grade S. LV 173. Vitality 1732. Strength 1240. Magic 1520. Mana 1428. Skills. Fire Magic Advanced, comma, Wind Magic Advanced, comma, Water Magic Advanced, comma, Dark Magic Advanced, comma, Light Magic Intermediate. What was in front of me was someone who has abandoned his human form. Carolina has become a vampire. In conclusion, the fierce fight between those two people will become really serious. Carolina's fist, which was in vampire mode, hit Riku's side. Gutsu, apparently, 
Carolina's punch that exceeds 1,000 in strength seems to have an unimaginable power. Riku-san, it's too much. Did she die from a blow? Riku-san, who was attacked by Carolina, seemed to be in a daze, as well as having blood coming out of her mouth. Don't worry, I extended my hand at the moment of impact so as not to kill her. Well, that's okay, I think that's good. But, if you leave her as she is, she will lose her life in less than an hour because of the bleeding. That's not good at all. Carolina doesn't care at all about people other than me. Hey, Caro, can you use your magic to heal Riku-san's wound? Please, I must find out what she has. Certainly, my teacher is someone amazing. But for her to hate demons so much, there must be something happened. I understand. I will take immediate action. I assumed that she had predicted this situation. When I convinced Carolina, she worked on Riku-san's treatment quickly. That way, we decided to wait for Riku-san's wound to heal. Chapter 82 Extermination So, it took about 10 minutes or so. After her wound was closed, Riku-san was slowly opening his eyes. Well, it seems I was defeated, and it's quite laughable to have received medical treatment from your demon companion. Riku-san, who was aware that she had been treated by Carolyn was showing a distressed smile. Yum. Can I ask you what happened? Huh? What do you mean? Why does Riku-san hate demons? I heard from Kiel that you didn't have such hostility towards them before, right? Yeah. That's no longer true. Let me tell you a story. So, I received from Riku-san several stories about demons. On a certain day, an adventurer from the city of Saint Bell was completing his mission chasing a certain demon. I later learned that that demon's name was Dragon Empress Kururu. It seems that she was the former division chief of the Demon Lord's army. Dot A. Is it my idea? Carolina's expression changed quite a bit when she heard Kururu's name. Kururu was the worst demon. She created famines, set small towns on fire and devoured people, killing everyone she saw. I was part of one of the six teams of Grado Adventurers who went to the mission of subjugation of Kururu. It was unexpectedly fun. We all were getting along very well. We were sharing adventures from the moment the mission started. We were joking together. This is really shocking. Riku-san's voice trembled as her explanation went on. Kururu no longer exists, but the remains of her demon army are scattered all over the world, tormenting humans. So I decided to act as a demon hunter to clear the grief of my companions. It was at the same time that I left the town of St. Bell and separated from Seal. I know it was bad for Seal, I think that was my worst decision ever. I just left the town without telling anyone. Was it like that? I didn't know. If there are good people who are related to the demon lord army like Carolina and Yuko, there must also be abominable beings. If a friend important to me had been killed. I could have taken the same steps as Riku-san. N.T. Nowhere in the chapter does it specifically say that someone dies, but from Riku's reaction, you can tell. Dot, dot, then why is Riku-san in the Haru mountain range? Is there something related to the demon hunters in the area? That's right. I heard that people from the Dragon Empress Kuru group came here, going in and out of the Haru mountain range. So I'm building a base in various parts of the mountain and chasing their whereabouts. That's it. Dot. I see. What she told us is connected to this. Seal was impressed with the design of the hut because it was made by her teacher. Master, I understand there's a lot to hear, but it's time to go down the mountain range. Wow, so fast? This could have been dangerous. I completely forgot about the time. There's currently a driver waiting for us at the foot of the mountain in his turtle car. If we left him there, Spending more than half a day, he would return to the town of Saint Bell and leave us here. Riku-san, I will come here again very soon. Dot I see, you have a turtle car waiting down there, so please take this with you. Class A, instant death ring. Ring that prevents deadly damage, its effect is activated once a day. Then Riku-san handed it to me. It was the first time I'd seen a greater item. This is going on an adventure is a dangerous thing. Could you give it to Seal? It was a payment from the guild for fighting the enemy army. It's a really expensive piece of equipment. But I'm not interested in it right now. I see. Riku-san is thinking of her disciple. Certainly, Seal's condition is the lowest among us. With this equipment, we could reduce the risk of great harm to her. I'm planning to stay in the Haru mountain range for about six months. Will you tell me if you hear any information about the Dragon Empress? Okay, 
I'll be back to inform you if I hear anything. I don't know if it was a good choice to come to the Haru mountain range. I didn't get to meet the dragon I was expecting, but I think I got some unexpected things out of this expedition. Chapter 83 Fusion X Fusion Phew I'm exhausted. After many things, I finally returned to the mansion. Even though we rushed down the mountain, we were a little late in terms of the time set and were given a Sir Judge. I'm glad he finally let us ride to go back. But from next time I'll have to figure out how not to spend so much money. Message from the system. Please choose the base monster. Aphrodite. Carolina Burton. Celo Telrud. Yoko. Werewolf. Adam Gillum. Kedimaro. Goblin Knight. Light Mash. Firefox. Mad Mash. Lee Sardman. I went back to the mansion. I called the Lee Sardman to the garden and decided to start working on the synthesis. The only monsters I have this time are these four Lee Sardman. I haven't been able to get the dragon I want, but, what would be the result of combining them? I selected Lee Sardman as the base monster, and then I selected Lee Sardman as the material. So, what will come of this? System message. It is possible to evolve into the next monster. Will you synthesize it? Yes. No. Lizard Lancer. Encyclopedia No. 52. Dragon Race. Grade D. Vitality 125. Strength 100. Magic 65. Mana 50. Skills. Fire Magic Beginner. Evolution Condition. Lisardman X. Lisardman. A monster that transforms itself into a minor species of the dragon race. It can use various types of equipment, depending on how it is nurtured. There are several possible evolutions. The status of the Lizard Lancer was displayed on the screen. As there are limitations on the amount of demons I can use, the synthesizable monsters must be synthesized two at a time. There's no reason not to synthesize them. At the next moment, when I pressed yet in the system message, the two Lisardmen were enveloped in light, finally creating a new monster. Koopo Tilda TN, he created a Muggery. Um, did they really evolve? The new monster that appeared before me was looking at the two Lee Sardman with curiosity. Number. The color of its skin differs slightly when you look closely. Its eyes were strangely pretty even though they were lost and kept tearing up. It's a freaking annoying feeling. It's like watching a 2P demon, which is just a variation of the 1P with another color. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I won't worry about the lizard lancers for now. What I'm looking forward to is combined two lizard lancers. According to the general explanation, Lizard Lancer seems to be able to evolve. Maybe, maybe I can get a cool dragon. System message. Please choose the base monster. Aphrodite. Carolina Barton. Celo Telrud. Yoko. Werewolf. Adamite Gillum. Kedimaro. Goblin Knight. Light Mash. Firefox. Mad Mash. Lizard Lancer. I chose Lizard Lancer as the base monster. I also selected Lizard Lancer to be the material. So. What's coming up? System message. It is possible to evolve into the next monster. Will you synthesize it? Yes. No. Lizard wing. Encyclopedia no 54. Dragon race. Grade C. Vitality 205. Strength 180. Magic 135. Mana 100. Skills. Fire magic intermediate. Evolution condition. Lizard lancer x lizard lancer. A monster that transforms itself into an intermediate species of the dragon race. He acquired the ability to fly by growing wings. Depending on how it is nurtured, there are several possible evolutions. Wings? Maybe. This time. A cool dragon will come out. Growing wings on the Lee Sardman's body may be the final step of my dream of having a dragon. There's no reason not to try it. The next moment I pressed yes on the system message. The two Lee Sard's Lancer were enveloped in a strong light, combining into a new monster. Koopo Tilda. Damn it. I never thought this would come out. The Lizard Wing's appearance doesn't feel any different from the Lee Sardman's. Only the two wings that grew on his back are really wonderful. But there's really no other point that shows his evolution. Did the design manager have a lot of work to do? If this were a game, I would really think that the person in charge of this was tired. Damn it. I couldn't reach my goal despite going to the Haru mountain range. Apparently, the road to get a dragon will still be very long. Chapter 84 Housekeeper After I finished the synthesis, it was time for dinner. When I arrived at the mansion a little sweaty, I decided to join the others in the living room. Hey. Caro. What's going on? Aphrodite's angry cries echoed down the hall. I'm hungry, but I can't be satisfied with just this. Aphrodite's argument was actually correct. Carolina always prepared pretty delicious dishes, 
but today's dish was mostly leftovers from yesterday and had less flavor. Although Aphrodite had nothing to complain about, since she spent all day sleeping on the ball. Actually, I'd like to know why today's dinner seems a bit sparse. Dot I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, but it's hard to make time with all my homework. Carolina is not doing anything wrong if you think about it. The truth is quite terrible that Carolina, who is working with us on our adventures, returns to the mansion and has to work. This is wrong. If this continues, the burden will exceed Carolina. If Carolina gets overworked, our group will surely be destroyed. Hey, why don't you give the kitchen job to Yanko? Well, that's because it would be quite difficult, because a maid's apprentice like Yanko wasn't even allowed into the kitchen before. Is that the case? In the place where they worked before, Carolina was the service manager, while Yanko seemed just to work in the organization. Even so, not even being able to enter the kitchen. They really were in a very hard place of work. What about Seal? Sorry, but, even though I can do blacksmithing work, I'm not really good at housework. Is that so? I guess I expected that. A person who has always been in a closed environment, focused on his own hobby, doesn't have the image of someone who is good at domestic affairs. No one in this group, besides Carolina, can cook. This is a serious matter. How can this be? Wait a bit. Suta, why didn't you ask me? Don't you think I could be a good cook? Have you cooked before? Naturally not. The goddess of beauty doesn't need skills such as cooking. Yeah, that's why I didn't ask you. Thank you for such an obvious answer. Ignoring Aphrodite for the moment, we proceeded with the discussion. So, why don't we hire someone? They mean a housekeeper. Fortunately, we have over 10 million in money thanks to the mineral collection quest. We have enough money for this. Maybe we can hire someone to do the housework. It could be a risk for us. There are many things we have to keep secret and inviting strangers could cause everything to come out. Dot certainly. It's difficult to find reliable people. How about buying a slave? Huh? Huh? What? What's wrong? Do I hear a bad idea? Please give it up immediately. It can be surprisingly useful. Plus there would be no risk of our information leaking out. Surely, if it's a slave will be able to reduce the risk. And if they can help with the cleanup, it would be a great help to me. I can't find a reason to object. Why didn't I think of that before? Buying a slave in this different world might be a good idea. My goal in this world is to get beautiful girls of different races and take them to my world. If I use the slave system well, it must be a shortcut to achieve my goal. After hearing Yoko's idea about buying slaves, I spent the whole night with a strong sense of excitement. Chapter 85 Let's Buy Slaves The next day, I headed to the town of St. Bell to achieve my goal of getting a beautiful slave girl. Dot so why did you come with me? Next to me was the beautiful figure of Aphrodite wearing clothes to go out for our slave. I want to carefully and meticulously choose a girl that matches my fantasy. I convinced the other members that I wanted to go alone not to interfere. For some reason, Aphrodite just didn't walk away from me with stubbornness. It's normal to me to come. You're going to a slave shop alone. I can feel the danger. Why? Maybe you're worried someone will attack me? Don't worry about that, you can come back. Don't you think you're misunderstanding? Of course, I wouldn't worry about that. So, what are you worried about? When I ask her, somehow Aphrodite turns her face away. Whatever happens, I'll get a beautiful slave and do something erotic to her. Isn't that what Suta thinks? Wow, but that's not all. Are you aiming at a slave harem with 100 beautiful girls? Let me tell you something. I absolutely cannot accept that such a thing happens in front of my eyes. Dot. Even if I deny it with my mouth, you've really read my mind. This goddess. Why will she become competent only when it's inconvenient for me? Oh, Suta. Aren't the funds you're about to use the ones we all get by working with the sweat of our brow? I know but I can find one person who can do the housework by myself. I wonder if it's true, I won't let you be influenced by personal desires in this. Damn it, I feel like I've just been beaten up. It's gonna be harder and harder to do what I want on my own. So, whatever happens, I'll find a pretty slave who knows how to do all kinds of housework. Aphrodite won't be able to do anything if I make a harem out of pretty slaves who can do all the housework. Hey, did you hear what they're saying now about Bakrua's business? Oh. I know, it seems the business performance has been growing considerably since its founder disappeared. A rumor has it that the new leader has changed a lot, he's quite a hard worker. It's a good shop, I wish my shop had the status of Bakura's business. 
talking around the city. The conversation of two people who seemed to be merchants came to my attention. Bakura's business was a company that had problems with us before. A man named Bakura Ackerman, who was quite unpleasant, was transformed into a werewolf with my ability to combine demons, and now he is working for me. Dot. Now that I think about it, Bakura's business was slave trading. I decided to visit Bakura's business today, since it's just what we were looking for. I wonder what happened to his business after the boss went away. I was quite curious to find out what happened. Chapter 86 First time in the casino. WH what is this? So, after 30 minutes, when I finally entered the Bakura slave trading house building, there was a spectacular scene in front of me. Casino. It's a casino. There was an entertaining gaming center, which could only be described as a casino, coming into our view, although we should only have entered the slave paradise. Poker, bingo, slots, roulette, etc. All those popular games were in this casino. Amazing. Wonderful. I had always wanted to play in a casino at least once. That said Aphrodite as her eyes glowed and sparkled. I remembered something she said earlier. The heavenly world where Aphrodite lived seemed to be a place where there was not much to entertain and it was much more boring compared to this world. So, um, I don't understand Aphrodite's feelings of worship towards the casino. This is strange. If it's a slave trading house, why is there a casino here? All right. Hey. Suta, get the money out quick. I'm playing in the casino today. Dot. If. If I don't stand firm. Aphrodite seems to have completely forgotten the purpose of today's visit. Certainly you. Weren't you the one who said before that we shouldn't spend on whims? Well, well. Customer Sama, is this your first time in the store? Rust tries arty. Gender, male, age, 84. When I turned to the voice that spoke, there was a completely handsome man. Huh? 84 years old? What does this mean? He looks like a teenager or a 20 year old, but he looks like a human, so he belongs to a long lived race? Um, you are? Excuse me. My name is Rust. I own this casino and the Booker a slave trading house. Dot. I see. This guy is the new owner that was rumored. It is said that the presentation of the Booker a slave trading house was different since the change of ownership, but is this the only reason? You see, I've heard that you can buy slaves in this shop. Of course, you can. All the female staff working in this store are products. If the customer Sama wins a game, he can buy her favorite slave girl she sees. A. Eh? When I look closer, I see things with prices of 1 million tokens and 3 million tokens hanging from the necks of girls in bunny suits. This means that all these beautiful ladies in bunny suits. Can you take them all home? Gaha. This is a dream that has gone beyond. Do you get tokens when you win at games? Oh, you know it well. Our casino system has been quite popular with our wealthiest customers. We are now number one in sales among the slave trading houses in St. Bell. Finally, the dots come together. The reason Bikaro a trading house has improved is here. The spirit of the casino is alive, and it seems to be more lucrative helping sales being better than selling the slaves in the normal way. In other words, this could be the same as the Gaka gaming type. Tokens can be purchased at our counter. Now then, customer Sama, please enjoy our store fully. The man named Rust is leaving us after telling us that. Dotsuta, that man just now, was a demon like Karo. A demon? Why is there a demon here? I don't know. Don't ask me. That reason convinced me why his appearance didn't match his age. Why is there a demon working as a casino owner? Why would that be? In this world there must be other good demons like Carolina. Just because the other side is a demon, it's not good to judge them for it. I don't want to be the only unhappy person here even though there's a demon that works his ass off. Thinking about that. I decided to play in the casino to get the slaves I wanted. Chapter 87 Remains Why? Why don't I win? Two hours later, I spent a lot of money at the casino. Now I was sitting on a couch in shock. The amount spent was 500,000 kol, 1 million kol, one we had free reign to spend, was divided between me and Aphrodite. If we converted 500,000 kol from this world to modern Japan, it would be 600,000 yen. My heart was flooded with guilt when I realized I spent 600,000 yen in just two hours. It's definitely weird. There might be operating remotely somewhere. The game in which I suffered a crushing defeat was poker. Thinking about what happened, it couldn't have been bad luck. In fact, at first winning was quite simple. 
and there were times when the money increased in an interesting way. However, the second half of the game was when it got horrible and I bet a lot of money. Suta A. Sorry, I lost it tilde. After some time, Aphrodite appears with a face full of tears and a runny nose that stains her face. It's probably from the impact of losing in the games. Aphrodite looks at me and buries her face in my chest. Hey, hey, my clothes aren't tissues. D. You too. Dot hig. I I'm sorry. It's okay. I just spent mine. Still. There's 10 million coal left in the ball. My decision to only spend 1 million coal on the casino, which was for daily expenses, was the right one. Aphrodite and I split that money in two and spent it on the casino. We will go back to work. Once we get back, we have to apologize to Caro. Okay. Dot. Maybe that was a bad way to comfort her. When I told Aphrodite, she buried her face even harder in my chest. I'm sorry, Suta, for spending it. Now, now, I spent it too. Let's go together and apologize to Caro. The savings you had on the ball, I spent them all. Dot. Sorry, what? The next moment I tried to withdraw the funds that were supposed to be in the ball, I had a serious discomfort. Nothing. There's nothing. There's none of the savings that were supposed to be there on the ball. Could it be that? When you came back to the ball, it was because you were taking money other than your own. Dot. Yes. What were you thinking? I, I was going to lose the 500,000 coal if I didn't. It's just. I couldn't have looked anyone in the face if I didn't. Dot. Dot. She's a. It's always a bad flag to try to get back the money you lost at the casino. In the same casino. I can't do anything but feel sorry for Aphrodite because I'm saddened by her miserable face. There's an air of bitterness flowing between us. Chapter 88 Spying Activities The story so far. Aphrodite and I lost a total of over 10 million coal in the course of one day. Although Aphrodite is 95% blame for our bankruptcy. Dot it's no use crying over spilt milk. Our chain is different, but the sins are the same. He hey. Suta, what? What are you planning to do to me in a place like this? Right now, I was with Aphrodite in a bathroom that held more than two people. Can can this be some kind of punishment for spending my money in the casino? Isn't this some kind of perverted thing, huh? Suta, evil, demon, pervert. Taking advantage of a girl's weakness, venting your libido in a bathroom. Suta, you're the worst. You're wrong. Please be quiet for a moment. For God's sake. She thinks of me as a monkey in mating season or something. There's no way I could think of anything like that in a situation like this. D, can't you imagine? There's something strange about the games in this casino. I have a feeling they're rigged. After I lost, I was watching other people's games. I got similar results compared to when you bet a lot of money. The winning percentage when it's higher is reduced. It certainly feels that way now that you say it. If what I think is right, they're cheating. And we lost our money because of them. Dot yes, that was it. When I asked for agree, Aphrodite shook her head with a loud tone. Ah, so that's why. I'm going to expose their fraud. D, you're gonna watch my back. If anything goes wrong, you'll let me know with the contact skill. So that's why I summoned a monster called Firefox, which is about 30 inches long. If it's with a small body like this, it's bound to go through the ventilation into the employee lounge. Hey. Suta, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you? Using the ability soul manipulation, I can enter the souls of the monsters. Since when? Soul manipulation. Grade B, active. Skill to possess enslaved monsters. The skill soul manipulation is very versatile, but there is one disadvantage, and that is that when it is in use, the body is left in an unprotected state. So, I thought that Aphrodite could take care of my body this time. Well, I'll use the skill. So I'll get you the rest. The next moment I entered the body of the Firefox, following the pattern, my body loses all its strength and falls towards Aphrodite. Artilda, wait, Suta, e? Aphrodite threw herself at my body but let out a voice of shame. Then, I'm leaving. Don't do perverted things to my body just because I'm not the dot. Oh, oh of course not, you stupid. I wonder if that joke was too much. Hearing my words. Aphrodite's face turned red as a tomato, Tilda. So, I did a thorough search with the body of the Firefox. It's strange, isn't it? I don't think I'd ever want to go into such a filthy place if I was in my own body, but when I'm in someone else's that I've borrowed, I can get into the room. Ha ha ha. Exactly. I can't stop laughing. Oh, that big-breasted blonde beauty, 
Huh, that look. I wonder if she's some kind of noble lady or something. After I walked around for a while, I heard a man's voice down. Big breasted blonde beauty. I wonder if they're talking about Aphrodite. Still, are the customers who come to the casino all foodles? Totally. A. Eh? Couldn't even imagine that we're using illusion magic of dark magic to change the pattern of the cards to our liking. Dot. It is unexpected that the evidence that they were cheating came to light so quickly. Illusion magic. Is there such a magic within the magic of darkness? If the dealer is able to change the pattern of cards to his liking, then it is a situation where the casino never loses. I won't spare them. I'll give them back double. You guys. What are you whispering about? Ah uh, Rust Sama. As I watched from inside the casino roof, the man named Rust, the owner of the casino, appeared. What happened to the blonde girl? Did you have trouble squeezing everything out of her? Here, take a look at this. Just like that, we got 10 million call from her. This is all thanks to the illusion magic that Rust Sama taught us. That's not what I want to hear. What happened to the girl, huh? When she lost she left the table with watery eyes. Could be that. But her. Hey, hey, what the hell's going on? That's what I was thinking when Rust started smashing his fist into the employees' faces. Don't I always tell you? We have to get women into debt to use them as products in the store. Just by looking at her appearance and with a few tricks, we can sell her to some noble pervert and get to 30 million call from him. Rust Sama. Please forgive us. That's why you guys are scum. I'm losing possible money just because you're incompetent. What are you going to do now? Dot. This is terrible. The employees are crying as they seek forgiveness but they were only beaten until their faces swelled up. Apparently, I misunderstood something. These employees are not without sin, but the root of all evil is this demon called rust. Scum. That's why I hate mix myself with these inferior humans. Gaka. The employees who were kicked to the curb had now rolled onto the floor until they were unconscious. I'm furious. Not only is it that people are being cheated out of their money, but I cannot contain my anger at the words of rust who only sees humans as garbage. This is different from good demons like Carolina and Yoko. Rust is one of those evil demons, just as Riku-san said. Knowing the truth of the matter, I swore an oath of vengeance against the Bakura slave trading house. Chapter 89 Casino Revenge A few days later, I visited the casino to get my money back. I see. It certainly feels like someone of my race coming from the building, albeit a little weak. Really? Yes. However. I am unable to detect any trace from the other side. Perhaps the casino owner is considered a low-ranking demon, so much so that I am unable to sense it. This time I brought in a powerful helper, Carolina, to even the score. We got 20 million call from selling antiques from the mansion. It was difficult to find a shop that could handle such an amount in a single auction, and it became a rumored effort throughout the region. Excuse me, I'd like to play poker. As you wish. Is this your first time playing poker? Number. I'm clear on the explanation of the rules since this is my second time. This bastard. Don't you remember that a few days ago you stole half a million call from me? There are many people who come and go every day who must make a fuss, so it's natural to forget the faces. By the way, what's the maximum bet amount for this game? The maximum amount is not particularly decided. Please show us what you wish to bet. Is that so? Then this. At the moment I say that, I pull a shiny gold coin out of a pre-prepared bag. The amount. Dot 200 pieces. That's the calculation when I change all the 20 million coal into coins. Hey, look at that. Are you crazy? That kid. How much does he plan to bet on a game? So far, it's going as I predicted. Customers who smell an unprecedentedly great game are gathering around the table. C customer sama. Just to be sure. Once the game starts, it will be impossible to cancel. Of course. I'm clear on that. I understand. Then let's start the game. Apparently, we've passed through the first barrier. At worst, I was prepared to be rejected. Maybe the croupier has his own skill. The original illusion magic in which he has absolute confidence. I'll deal the cards. I take a look at the cards delivered by the croupier. From the right, one of spades, three of hearts, seven of diamonds four of clubs and six of spades. This is terrible. Stay cool and calm. Do you switch cards? Please change four cards. Leaving the one of swords, I check the swapped cards. The next one I don't change. I couldn't even make two pairs on my own. I could be convinced that this was a game of chance, if this had happened only once or twice. But since it happened the same way even when I came before, 
Now I have doubts, when I look into the croupier's eyes, I let out a let's do it, with a feeling of relief. No matter how much I think about it, I can only conclude that he will use illusion magic. I really want to know if he's going to cheat again. Royal flush. The next moment my cards were displayed. The customers in the vicinity began to cheer up. El impossible. Something like this is not possible. Stay calm until the end. The croupier's face was pale, but that's nothing more than reasonable. According to the rules of the casino, in case you draw a royal flush, the amount to be returned is 1000 times its value. I estimate I'll get a total of 2 billion tokens. You bastard. You cheated, say it. What trick did you use it? The croupier's voice echoed in the casino. It's easy to understand once you know how it goes. If the other party uses illusion magic to cheat, you can do the same. Since there's an expert dark magic user here. I asked Carolina to use the same illusion magic that the dealer used to rig the cards and draw royal flush. Oh? What do you base it on to say that I cheat? Th that's as I thought. He cheats. The fact that he can say I cheated just by looking at my cards is proof that they're cheating too. Okay, I won't forgive the fact that they're cheating. I'm ready to show no mercy. What's going on? What's happening? The blood-sucking owner who heard the commotion came here. Arrest Sama. He I. Please forgive me. Dot. The croupier, who realized his own mistake, was frightened by the abnormality of the situation. No wonder. I suppose it's because of the trauma caused by the blows in his face a few days ago. Rust looked at the groupier like he was trash, giving a refreshing smile. Customer Sama. Here, please. Now, I'd like to talk to you about your victory. Well, well, what's going to happen? Although I would like to have the money taken from me returned immediately and even accuse him of cheating. I have not expected he to accept my victory without a fight. I'm not just going to take the money and force my way out. That's why I decided to go with Rust and talk with him for the time being. Chapter 90 Obtaining a Slave Is this a rest area for employees or something? The place I came to with Rust guiding me was a dirty room. Now, that was a big win. Let me congratulate you first. Sure. Thank you. His face has a smile but he expresses the opposite with his eyes. Rust seems to really hate me. So, where's the money? Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. But, I'd like to give you something else first, before I hand over the money. Dot. I felt things were getting dangerous, so I moved to avoid an attack. Rust attacked me with a sharp knife. Wow, looks like I'll have to do it now. His speed is high, since he's a demon. Because I caught a goddess. My speed is also high. But if I had been an ordinary adventurer, I probably couldn't have avoided it and he would have killed me with just that one blow. Dot what are you supposed to do? Ha ha ha, I would never give my money to a dirty human like you. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to do some extra work. Well, I guess it's worth it. But I'd rather you just died and handed me the money. His hand came very quickly. His legs are not slow either. Get rid of that bug. I'll let you see how. Yes. Sir, when Rust gave the signal, men with angry faces began to enter the room like an avalanche. There are five of them in all. They approached to surround me and smiled confidently. Summon Goblin Knight. I don't feel like being merciful to them. I summon Goblin Knights one after another from the capsule ball and had them round up the thugs instead. What what's going on? How come? These monsters. The men look scared. No wonder. Generally speaking. It's known that the maximum number of beasts a monster tamer could summon is three. And here I am summoning over ten monsters. I think I'm some kind of heretic. Gaha, Jiu, Baha. The goblin knights with their weapons soon put the thugs out of action. By equipping them with the iron maces and circular shields made by seal, the fighting power of the goblins increased dramatically. Tn, if I'm not mistaken, this should be seal's real name. Tch. It's no use. If it was possible. I didn't want to have to use this form. When Rust whispers that, some bat wings grew out of his back. Vampire 2, Grade S, Level 23. Vitality 188. Strength 129. Magic 148. Mana 132. Rust abandoned his human form to become a vampire. His statistics aren't so strong as they seem. When it comes to numbers, it's only a tenth of Carolina's power. Is her demon ability so minimal? What do you say, human? New ha ha ha. I'm sure you're terrified of my true form. Dot. Well, that's a hard question. I usually see more impressive demons, but if you're asking me if I'm surprised, yes, I am. What's wrong? Hua, are you so scared you can't even talk? Rust, 
who completely misunderstood the situation, began to get carried away. Well, well, I didn't think this was going to be so pathetic. Let's get it over with quickly. Summon Adamite Gillum. Adamite Gillum. Rank B. Level 330. Vitality 110. Strength 359. Magic 38. Mana 33. Skills. Rock Ammunition. Immune to fire attacks. As Rust approaches, I use Adamite Skillum to intercept him. Ga. How much does it affect strength in close combat? Adamite Skillum. Crush trust against a wall like a simple mosquito. D.A. Damn. Who the hell are you? Rust, who was quite damaged, asked, pouring out blood from his mouth. K's higher suitor. Just a simple adventurer. Don't don't give me that nonsense. What kind of adventurer is capable of opposing a demon? Dot. Rust spat out saliva as he screamed in exasperation. Well, 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 I didn't expect this turn of events. I'd really like to play angry with him. So, you bastard. How dare you try to take my money in such a dirty way. Now I'm really angry. When Rust fell to the ground, I grabbed him by the neck and looked at him threateningly. You're gonna give me the money now, right? He I. He must have realized by now that the situation is not in his favor at all. Giving the order to advance to Adamite Skillum with the ability to contact, Rust retreats by dragging his butt along the ground. W wait. We can talk about it. I can give you the finest virgin slave in this whole place. So, listen to me, okay? I don't want to. Such a thing will not stop my anger. What more do you want? What kind of slave do you want me to give you? I want you to become a slave. I threw a capsule ball at the vampire. When it came into contact with Rust's body, the capsule ball sucked him in. Result, right now. Rust's body was completely inside the little capsule ball. Shit. WH where am I? I want out. Let me out. Rust was hitting the ball from the inside with tears in his eyes. Maybe this guy is a crybaby? The vampire inside the ball seems to be a pessimist, too. Anyway, now I can say this line, slave trader. Got. Chapter 91. The Forbidden Combination 2. I left the casino and went back to the mansion. Of course, I didn't forget to get my money back. The 20 million coal used now and the 10 million coal stolen from us last time at the slave trade company. The casino was a great place, since we could get the slave we wanted without even paying a coin. Huh? What am I doing here? Oh, you're finally awake? When I got back to the mansion, I decided to take the vampire out of the ball. By the way, after I forced Trust to tell me where the vault was, I gave him the order to sleep docile and obediently without making a fuss. So, the rust. He could only stay locked and quiet inside the ball. S stop. Don't kill me. Rust looked at my face as he put his hands together in prayer. Hey, hey, that's rough. Do I look like a murderer or something? It's gonna be fun to make fun of him a little bit. Too bad. Have you forgotten what I can do? I understand. I'll do anything, no matter what. But please don't kill me. Anything? I intended to put Rust to work doing housework around the house. This may have saved us some trouble. Well, I see. If that's the way it's going to be, then I intend to forgive you. Really? Sure. From now on, you'll have a new body to work with. A new body? I opened the skill screen, where I selected the demon combination skill, ignoring Rust's question. System message. Choose a base monster. Aphrodite. Carolina Burton. Celo Telrud. Yoko. Rust tries Arty. Werewolf. Adamite Gillum. Kedamaro. Goblin Knight. Firefox. Mad Mash. Winged Lizard. After reading the message, I chose Rust without hesitation. System message. Please select a material monster. Now it was time to choose the material, which I decided on a Mad Mash. I had been fooling around a little bit with the patterns before and I learned that Carolina a vampire plus a mad mash created a succubus. System message. The following monsters can be combined. Would you like to synthesize them? Yes. No. Succubus. Encyclopedia number. Race. Succubus. Grade. S. Vitality. 55. Strength. 45. Magic. 285. Mana. 120. Skills. Dark magic advanced comma suction. Aphrodisiac. Evolution conditions. Vampire X Mad Mash. Demons that specialize in sexual skills. Since their race is purely female based, it is normal that they attack males of other races to leave offspring. Their powerful dark magic places them among the most powerful demons. Oh oh ho. Oh. So, 
We're finally in the presence of a succubus. Succubus. It's a monster who embodies all the desire of the men of the world. Succubi have the image of a woman dressed erotically in the games of my world. A sinful monster who seduces men with her captivating body and vigorous libido. I have longed for this moment, to meet a succubus, ever since I obtained my profession in this world. I thank you. Thanks to you. I can now make my dream come true. W wait. What? What are you going to do? Can he sense the danger? Rust screamed in panic, but it's too late. Dot it's my chance. What what's going on? The next moment, I pressed the yes button. Rust began to emit a dazzling glow. Eventually, his height of almost 1.8 meters, was quickly reduced. His waist narrowed, and his butt and breasts got bigger. What finally appeared was a succubus a beautiful girl with a sexy body. I idiot. What what am I supposed to do with this body? Rust noticed that his gender had changed and he screamed. Chapter 92 Phrasing Gulp I swallowed saliva when I first saw the succubus. Such big breasts. They're probably almost as big as Aphrodite's. Was he that attractive before? Rust's appearance is still good, even now that his body is that of a woman. Even with the clothes now too big for him, it makes her look prettier. How cruel. This is too cruel. Really, now he's devastated knowing his gender has changed. Rust muttered something as he fell flat on his face to the ground. Um, maybe I went too far. But, nevertheless, this is something he brought on himself. As some anime hero would say, if you kill someone, it's because you're ready to die too. In that sense, Rust was the one who wanted to kill me, so now he has no right to complain. When I think I'm giving him a second life as a beautiful girl, I start to feel guilty. Hey. Rust. Serious question. Will you let me touch your breasts? What? Congratulations, by the way. As you must know by now, you're a beautiful girl. Are you stupid or what? No, number. I'm serious. When you become a girl, you're able to touch your breasts all day. I'm jealous. Dot coo, I'm going to kill you. Didn't my words of encouragement help? Rust raised his fists and tried to hit me. Impossible. Why can't I hit you? But... Still, right before his fist hit my face, Rust's motion stopped. You didn't know? Enslaved monsters cannot attack their masters for any reason. What what the hell? Ha ha ha. He must have realized the disadvantage he is at. Rust fell to his knees in defeat. Master, will you let us take care of her? T.N. He's already a woman, so he's she? Question mark. What did that woman say? After hearing all this commotion, it was Karo and Yuko demons that came. I don't mind. But what are you planning to do? I understand the master's intention, however, as she is not suitable to be one of your slaves. Therefore, we want to make her a first class slave. Of course, I think maid style would suit her. So it's a yes? Never. Yoko threw her hand at Rust as she looked down at her. Her body was small, but her strength was just the opposite. Rust, who was now a beauty, was sent flying nearly six feet away. Harud, don't you know the vampire master Carolina? Low-ranking demons like you shouldn't even talk. That Carolina? So Carolina is famous in the vampire society. The look on Rust's face changed immediately when she heard Carolina's name. I it's a lie, right? Carolina is a hero among vampires. But to think that she's serving a human. Rust. Right? Yes, ma'am. The next time you insult Sutasama. I will tear out your tongue completely. So that your mouth can never make another sound. Dot. S so scary. When Carolina gets angry, she can be really scary. I I have no doubt. This strength can only belong to Carolina Sama. To think that I can serve a master vampire. How lucky I am. What's going on here? Carolina's great bloodthirst seems to have moved Rust to tears. For when she received it, she was brought to her knees. I learned this later. But apparently demons have a habit of subduing those who are stronger. So, for Rust, serving Carolina must have been like being in heaven. That's nice. For now, it seems that Rust is willing to work in our home. So, let's get the room ready right away. No, master. There's no need for that. There should be a servant's room left by the previous owner of this mansion. That will be enough for her. I see. Well, then I'll leave you to take care of it, Caro. Let's see. Then, my goal is to create the perfect harem in this other world and then take it home. However, while it is easy to say that I will do it, the decision of whether or not Rust is a good candidate for is something that cannot be taken lightly. In the end, 
only those people who are women in body and soul will be able to join in. This is how a real harem will really feel. Chapter 93 Kidnapping Case After getting the succubus without any problems, I decided to go back to the room and check my status screen. Case Hire Suitor Job Monster Tamer Level 576 Vitality 262 Strength 97 Magic 208 Mana 2993 Blessing Absolute Control Skills Capsule Ball Appraisal Eyes Demon Combination Contact Soul Manipulation Borrowing Skill Enslaved Monsters Aphrodite Carolina Burton Celo Telrid Yoko Rust Trizati Werewolf Adamite Gillum Kedamaro Winged Lizard Goblin Knight X15 Light Mash X6 Firefox Mad Mash Borrowing Skill Grey Day Active Skill that allows the user to borrow the skill of a monster they have under their control. But it can only be one skill at a time. Acquisition Conditions Create an S rank or higher monster, to have 2000 or more mana. A new skill was added to the skills section. Ho ho. It seems that the acquisition condition this time has been obtained by transform rust from vampire to succubus. Whichever way you look at it, this skill is terribly versatile. Why you ask? With this ability, I can become stronger and stronger depending on the monster I enslave. Let's see. I was summoned to a world of magic and swords. First of all. Let's borrow Rust's Dark Magic Advanced Skill. Know me as the Master of Darkness, a man born in darkness who can control it. System Message. You cannot borrow this skill. Damn. I've anticipated this anyway. The balance of this world would probably be broken if I were to use magic as freely as monsters. Unfortunately, I'll have to give up on that. Suction. Grade B. Active. Short range. Single attack. Absorbs men's sexual desire. Aphrodisiac. Grade B, active, short range, single attack, ability to increase the libido in the target. Then I saw two other skills that Rust has. Is it something like the Dust of Disorder from the Mad Mash? However, while the grade of Dust of Disorder was D, the grade of these two skills is B. The effect must be really amazing. So, I decided to take out a Goblin Knight to test the skill. Gobu. Gobu. I chose the Goblin Knight for a reason. It is said that a Goblin Knight would be about 40 human years old if we converted his lifetime, and that means four decades of accumulated sexual desire. Well, here I come, Goblin Knight. Gobu. After I used the suction skill, a catastrophe occurred. Amazing. What is this? My body is hot. The energy flowing from the Goblin Knight is visible. Wait a minute. You guys. Charged with all this libido inside the ball? I'm sorry. Goblin Knights. I, as a man, should have noticed the suffering of the Goblin Knights. In the future, it seems best to eliminate the Goblin's libido with this suction skill from time to time. Apparently, this was another job Rust would take on. Ha. Ha. It's over. Right. I know my body. I completely absorbed the Goblin Knight's libido and was now full of a certain emotion. This is not good. Anyone is fine. If I don't find someone to satisfy this desire, my sex drive seems to be going crazy. Wow, what's going on, Suta-san? Your face is red. Walking here at a leisurely pace, I discovered a possible target. The busty lily body of Seal looks even more sensual than usual since she has just taken a bath. T.N. I don't know which breasts he's talking about. In the whole novel they've said she has them, but in the illustrations she's just a normal lily dot. Dot Seal. You come at the right time. I must tell you something important. Could you come to my room? Um, I don't mind, but... Is it okay if I dry my hair first? If I don't do it quickly, it tends to get all messy. Dot. This girl. What is she talking about? I don't want to talk about hair right now. The important thing now is to get rid of all this sex drive. Wait, Suta-san. What's gotten into you? Your face is scaring me. Say no more. Let's go to my room. E -e 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 -e. I'm sorry, but there's no time to chat right now. Kidnapping? Abduction? No problem. Ten minutes later, Seal's voice echoed non-stop. Muha. That's a good skill. I enjoyed Seal's body to the fullest using the aphrodisiac skill. Chapter 94 Rust's Skills The next morning, when I went into the living room as usual, I was met by an astonishing sight. Unbelievable. What's going on? The breakfast lined up on the table in the room looked like what you'd expect from a luxury hotel buffet. Ham and eggs, omelette, roast beef, 
salad, yogurt and freshly baked bread, etc. There was lined up a menu of western food that would make you salivate just to look at it. Foo foo. How about it, Suta? All this was made by Rust Chan. Really? Why is Aphrodite who has that smiling face? It would be a pain to make a punch line, so I'll keep it to myself for now. Rust is amazing, Suta San. You've found an amazing person. Not only she does cook, but she can also do the chores. Isn't she the pinnacle of female power? Ha ha ha. And I only captured Rust because I was curious to see a succubus. The truth is that I planned to learn to cook little by little, but I feel that with this I was able to save myself a lot of work. There's nothing humans can do that demons can't. For me, cooking is as simple as breathing. When I turned to the speaker, I saw the figure of Rust as a maid. Rust, who had transformed into a girl with a bombshell body was completely dressed in a short maid uniform. What a surprise. Rust is a good cook. A beautiful girl who's good at cooking and has a nice body too. In addition, she has skills to improve the nightlife. So, maybe Rust is my dream woman. Do don't be getting any weird ideas, case hire suitor. I would never cook for you. This food was made for Carolina Sama, who I love. Wow. On top of all that, She's tss dear. This is bad. It seems that a certain tendency that shouldn't be in me is about to appear. Dot Rust, how many times do I have to say it for you to understand? Car Carolina Sama, looking back at the bloodthirst, Carolina had a terrifying expression on her face. Didn't I say that? Please watch the way you refer to your master. Both you and Yanko, why can't you understand such a simple command? Be but Carolina Sama, we are proud demons. Even you who are said to be a bliss armor's right hand, there's no need to be so humble with a human, who told you you could make excuses, the next moment that Carolina's shout resonated, Gobra, Rust's spectacular body was sent flying and crashed into one of the walls of the mansion, an incredibly fast strike that even your eyes couldn't see, even I didn't get a good look at it, I'm so sorry, slave education will take some more time, could you please keep waiting, dot so sure, Carolina is terribly intimidating every time she gets angry, for the moment, it seems that cooking conditions have improved becoming Rust our companion, so, I'll let Carolina do the rest. Chapter 95, The Secret of the Dragon Empress. After eating it was time to go to work. As I returned to my room and changed my clothes, I began to think about today's expedition. Um, where should I go? In the Haru mountain range I didn't know what to do. Not only did I wander around for a long time, but sadly I couldn't find the dragon I was looking for either. Well, at the moment there's nowhere else. Case higher, can I come in? While I was thinking, a voice sounded from outside the room. The one that came into my room was the beautiful succubus Rust. Did something happen? I heard it from Carolina Sama. So you're going out on in subjugation quest? Ah, that's right. But, if you don't know where to go, I'd like to go to the Haru mountain range. What happened so suddenly? Rust's tone was not serious at all. May I ask why? No. You can't. This is something that not even Carolina Sama knows. Not to mention that a human can knows. Dot. Hey, hey. Is that a way to ask someone for favors? I can barely forgive her because of the fact that she looks like a beautiful girl. But if she'd had her former man form, I'd have been pretty upset. I understand. I can see it's something that can't be said out of the blue. Going to the Haru mountain range is complicated, so I'd better do it another day. Ah. Hey wait a minute. After I treated her so casually, Rust grabbed my shoulder and stared at me. Too close. You're a voluptuous succubus. Please be a little more conscious. She still hasn't assimilated that she's a woman now. If something happens, you can tell me. It's the only way I'll see if I feel like going to the Haru mountain range. Gunu. Th that's not gonna happen. I'd rather take the secret to my grave. Dot. At first, you'd just think she was a blockhead. But it looks like she's not going to change his mind about this. Why is she going to such lengths to keep it a secret anyway? I'm a little curious. Then you leave me no choice. I'll use my spell to make you more honest. Tell me everything you're hiding. So, I decided to use my absolute control. Rust may not know it, but a monster tamer can make the summoned monster do anything they want. The reason I want to go to the Haru mountain range is because I want to meet the dragon empress Kuraru. What? What the hell did she say? The Dragon Empress Kuraru, one of the worst demons known to have taken a great amount of human lives, she was even one of the Demon King's commanders. Everything I know of her I have learned before from Riku-san, 
the master of seal, shit, yo you bastard, what did you do to me, my mouth, my mouth moved by itself, whatever, just keep talking, why must you meet Kuraru, because, I was originally a servant of Kurarusama, under her orders, I started working as the owner of the casino and handed over the proceeds to her, this time, however, things have changed, as from now on I will be working under Carolina Sama. Apologizing to Kuraru Sama is just common sense. I understand. So that's what happens. I'm surprised Rust worked under Kuraru. However, this connects the events in many ways. I used to wonder why Rust, a demon, worked at the casino. By the way, why did you decide to serve Carolina? More so knowing that you'd betray Kuraru by doing so. That's a silly question. Carolina Sama is a hero to us vampires and the ideal to become. If the opportunity arises to serve her, I will not hesitate to go after her with all my might. I had no idea. Was Carolina really that important among the demons? However, given Carolina's exploits so far, I don't think it's strange. I always wondered if it was really okay to work under Kuraru Sama. But honestly, I had something I couldn't respect her for. This matches the information Riku-san had given me. It seemed that Kuraru was known for her cruelty even in demon hunting parties. Hey, there's one thing that keeps bothering me. Do you think Kuraru will want to forgive you for cutting ties with her and finding a new master? Ugh, I have my doubts about that. Kuraru Sama is a strict person who won't tolerate even the slightest mistake. If I'm lucky, at best I might get half guild. At worst, I'll be guild. Of course, she would. From what I've heard, this woman, Kuraru, seems to be an atrocious and proud demon. I do not believe that one of her subordinates, who betrayed her, will come out unscathed. Why would you want to go to such a dangerous place? If that's the case, Kurusama will never forgive me. She will follow me to the end of the world and try to kill me. If that would happen, there is a chance that Carolina Sama is in danger. So, this is a problem I have to solve alone. Dot. I see, is that so? Rust, I'm reevaluating my opinion of you. Even if she were to die, she doesn't want to bother Carolina. I thought she was just a fool. But she's really quite a man. Although it's a bit strange to say that a beauty like her is quite a man. All right. All right, if that's the case, we'll go to the her arranged today. Dot. Are you sure? When I agreed, for a moment a beauty's smile blossomed on Rust's face. Oh, yes. But there is one condition. Condition. You'll go with me all the way to Kuraru's lair and I won't let you leave my side. Dot. Are you sure you want to do this? Kuraru sama won't let me return unharmed. If you go with me, you'll be in great danger right? Make no mistake, I'm not going to do it for you. I just can't stand the idea that someone's going to break the things that belong to me. Kake's higher. After listening to me, Rust's cold heart was deeply moved and her eyes became teary with emotion. What will it be? This atmosphere. It wouldn't be so bad if Rust was really a beautiful girl. Don't be silly. She's a man. Her tits are a ten and his big ass is fluffy but she's still mentally a man. It's problematic that a twisted sexuality seems to spring up in me after Rust has become a companion. Chapter 96 Finding the Lair After listening to Rust's opinion, I decided to ride the turtle car in order to reach the her a mountain range. The price of the turtle car was still high, but we could not afford to take so much time to think about it. If you can avoid combat, then that's fine, but if you don't take enough measures, you may find yourself in one of the biggest predicaments of all time today. I want to believe that I will be okay because I have a group of people I can count on, but the thought of what is to come makes my hands sweat. Dot I see. So, the master is now going to face Kuraru. If you want to know about demons, what better than to ask other demons? With that in mind, I decided to explain to Carolina what had happened so far. Maybe you know something about Kuraru? Yeah, we were always together. We both worked in the same place, but her bad behavior caused her problems, so much so that she was fired. Kaeru's unpredictable behavior used to bring out the best in me. I didn't know. I'm getting a better sense of the story. So, I guess there was a time when Kaeru tried to work seriously, too. However, after she was fired from her job, her heart was corrupted, and she joined an evil organization known as the Demon Lord's Army. So, in your eyes, is Kuraru strong? Yes. In terms of fighting ability, it's the best among demons. I'm probably no match for Kuraru right now. Dot. It's a joke, right? Even in our group, 
Carolina's status is peerless to others. To be stronger than Carolina, how inflated is Kuroru's status? This is not good. Should we turn back now? Dot. Dot. Number. I must calm down. No matter how strong the opponent is, I have the capsule ball skill that allows me to have a 100% chance of capturing my opponent. Even if it's the worst battle, we have a good chance of winning if I can throw the ball to her while Carolina gets her attention. Fortunately, she doesn't know about my capabilities. If you get into a fight, throwing the ball in a surprise move wouldn't be a particular problem, Tilda. Meanwhile, we arrived at the Haru mountain range. In my field of vision there was a huge mountain that extended like a heavenly impulse, just as it had been when I came here before. Case higher, Kuru's lair is over here. Follow me. Hey, but, that's the destination to which our guide, Rust was heading was completely off the climbing route by a secondary route. Isn't it just the wild animals that pass through this place? It was barely wide enough for a human to pass through and I could see the tall grass poking my skin. Kurusama dislikes uncomfortable trips more than anything else. She wouldn't set up a lair on a mountaintop or anything. After a short walk, Rust pushed a pendant he had on his chest against a lumpy rock wall. Th this is. So, what do you think? The landscape which until now looked like a simple rock wall, changed quickly, and finally a large cave appeared. This pendant has the effect of temporarily lifting Kurusama's illusion magic. It's a special item she only gives to people she trusts. I see. In other words, in principle, it's similar to the casino poker scan. No wonder Rikusan couldn't find Kuru's lair. Master, from here. Please walk as close to me as possible. What's going on all of a sudden? You never know what kind of trick Kuru will use. I just want to be able to respond quickly in case something goes wrong. Okay. Well, I guess one can't help but be cautious. When I answered, Carolina squeezed my hand tightly. That's strange. I had been anxious until a few moments ago, but when Carolina held my hand, I felt my heart calm. Chapter 97 Versus Salamander Dungeon It's a dungeon. Inside the cave that Rust had taken me, was a scene that could only be described as such. Wow, there's so much magma exposed there. I thought it was too hot, and it was the magma that had formed a bond. This brings back memories. In the game worlds, if you step on the magma floor, you lose HP, but now that I think about it, it seems like an unreal scenario. I think, if you step on magma, Losing HP would be the least of your worries. This way, Kei's Hasan Kurusama is over there, behind that door. Su sure. This time, we cannot move with large numbers of people because the level of danger is so different. That's why we were acting like a team of Carolina, Rust, and me. I wonder why, though. Somehow, I miss that silly side of Aphrodite, the one that interrupts the viciously serious atmosphere. Master, up there. Hey, Salamander. Grade C, LV2525. Vitality, 318. Strength, 272. Magic, 215. Mana, 153. Skills, Fire Breath. What the? That monster is. When I looked in the direction Carolina had pointed, I saw a huge Lisard monster almost 15 feet long. Gosh, uh, the salamander is glued to the ceiling above the doors. But it also makes strange noises to intimidate us. I see. Apparently, we have to defeat the salamander to open the door. I understand. This dragon is a monster prepared by Kuroru to attack us. Number. You're wrong. Case higher. This salamander's name is Stephanie, and she's Kurusama's pet. Dot a pet? That's right. Stephanie loves me so much she'd never hurt me. Needless to say, I've been the one feeding her for over a year. I hope you'll be relieved. Dot. Is it really okay? No matter how you think about it, she doesn't seem to have any favoritism towards us. You don't seem very convinced. Yeah, because it looks like she's gonna attack us any minute, doesn't it? Should she? Surely, by nature, Stephanie would never let an intruder through, yet she is a smart girl. Once she recognizes the smell, she does no harm to the person she's dealing with. Dot. I see. That's a relief as if I believed it. The reason for Rust's claim that it would be okay was because she would remember her smell. Surely, if it had been the previous Rust, it wouldn't have been attacked by the salamander. But, nevertheless, since she has her gender changed and took the form of a beautiful girl, doesn't that mean her smell has changed too? I can't be wrong. There's no way a man's body and a beautiful succubus girl's body can smell the same. 
It was right after I felt uncomfortable. Recklessly, Rust approaches the salamander. Now, now, Stephanie, come play with me. We're on your side. Ah, Rust, you idiot. If you approach like that, I'm sure. Gush. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Why? Why are you doing this, Stephanie? That's why I said you to stay away. Rust was lying on the floor in a daze when he was hit by the salamander's breath attack. It's not good to leave Rust, whose status is not high, like this. Now that her guidance work is done, let's get her back in the ball. Caro, can you get up there and knock the salamander down? Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible, but that's weird. If it had been as usual, Carolina would have said I understand and acted immediately, but this time, the response seemed to be somewhat forced. The amount of time I can fight with all my might after using my transformation is limited to about 10 minutes a day. If I use it here, the battle with Kuru will be harder. I see. I didn't know that. Carolina's transformed mode was unbeatable, but there was a demerit with it, too, wasn't there? Spending MPs on a random enemy before a battle with a boss is a trap for novice players. Dot then you leave me no choice, take this, Naku. So, the monster I summoned was the Mad Mash. The Mad Mash with its dust of disorder that puts the opponent in heat will be able to attract the salamander that is stuck to the ceiling. Naku, the dust of disorder released by the Mad Mash umbrella is directed at the salamander. Gushua. But, nevertheless, the fire breath released from the salamander's mouth burns off the dust of disorder. Naku. <laughs> Mad Mash. The Mad Mash rushes back to the ball after a fiery salamander attack. Oh, that it was close. Can that breath of fire reach that far? Thanks to that, I was able to get out of range. But I'm worried about the damage Mad Mash might have received. Eagerly, I checked its condition. Case higher suitor. Job, Monster Tamer. Level, 576. Vitality, 262. Strength, 97. Magic, 208. Mana. 2993, Blessing, Absolute Control, Skills, Capsule Ball, Appraisal Eyes, Demon Combination, Contact, Soul Manipulation, Borrowing Skill, Enslaved Monsters, Aphrodite, Carolina Burton, Celo Telrud, Yoko, Rust Trizarty, Werewolf, Adamite Gillum, Kedamaro, Winged Lizard, Goblin Knight X15, Light Mash X6, Firefox X4, Mad Mash, thank goodness for that, the name of Mad Mash is still there, he was able to escape a fatal wound at the last moment, now then, the healing effect of the capsule ball will naturally make him feel more energetic. Sightilda. I'm really happy that Mad Mash is okay. We can't afford to lose Mad Mash yet. Since this guy has the dust of disorder skill, you can do several things in combination with borrowing skill. Dot. Dot. Okay, I know what to do. I've already come up with an idea to defeat Salamander. Thank you, Mad Mash. Thanks to you, I feel I've made a breakthrough. Caro. Stay there and catch me. Dot what? Originally, I would have liked to explain a little more, but I don't have time for that now. You never know when the next fire breath will come. I summoned Adamite Gillum from inside the ball and decided to ride on his palm. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. I use my contact skill to send an order, and Adamite Gillum throws my body with his big arm. I have become a human cannon, and the distance between me and Salamander is getting shorter. Gush. Uh, oops. Of course. It won't let me get that close, will it? Salamander opened its mouth wide and expelled a scorching breath. Master? Ha ha ha. Carolina seems to be worried, but so far, it's within my expectations. Fire attribute attack immunity, gray day, passive, and skills that cancels out fire damage. I temporarily borrowed the fire attribute attack immunity skill from Adamite Gillum with borrowing skill. Whoa. Really? It doesn't burn. I don't feel any change being in the fire. I pass through the fire breath and throw the capsule ball. I guess Salamander didn't think I'd come out of the fire unscathed. Salamander's huge body was wonderfully absorbed by the small capsule ball. Gaewe. So something came in. How scary. It's gigantic. Immediately afterwards, the cries of Aphrodite and Seal were heard from inside the ball. Certainly, if a salamander appeared in front of you suddenly, you would be scared too. I will explain the situation later. Uh-oh. Thank you, Caro. As expected, Carolina. The worry of having done this was the great full damage, but thanks to Carolina's response, we were able to bring it down to a minimum. This way it's
a little embarrassing since it's like being carried like a princess, dot I don't know. I wonder if it's just my imagination lately. It seems the master looks more and more like him. As I was being held, I could hear Carolina's voice filtering out of her mind. Wait a second. Who the hell do you mean by him? As usual, Carolina makes some significant statements. This kind of thing seems a little dumb if pursued too deeply. I took the ball with Salamander inside and headed straight for the door. Salamander. Encyclopedia. Number 54. Race. Dragon. Grade. C. Level. 1. Vitality. 185. Strength. 150. Magic. 110. Mana. 95. Skills. Fire Breath. A monster of a medium species of the dragon race. It has a breathtaking attack and incredible vitality. It has the potential to evolve into a flying dragon by increasing its level. Chapter 98. Versus the Dragon Empress. To think it was you Tilda, Carolina. Kaeru Kagnak. Sex. Female. Age. 378. When I opened the door, I found a huge woman, almost two meters tall, in the great hall at the back. Her face, which was as swollen as a daifuku, deviated quite a bit from the word beautiful for a dragon empress. What about this monster? She's really in human mode, not in the form of demon, right? The disparity in appearance with Carolina, who also belongs to the demon race, is tremendous. Sutakun. How did you get here, Riku-san? What the hell does this mean? Beside the Dragon Empress stood the figure of Riku-san, who had been crucified at a stake with her entire body wounded. Ha! Ah, that woman over there. I caught her sneaking around, so I caught her and now I'm in the middle of an interrogation. An interrogation? Yes. Just listen Tilda. Just the other day, Rust-chan, that handsome boy I'd been taking care ran away. I think I have a lead on who might have hurt him. I can't think of anyone but nosy demon hunters. That's why I want to get information out of this woman about Rust Chan. Dot. What's up with that? I can't believe Riku-san was in trouble just because I took Rust. This is what happened when you dared to go against Kaeru. Dot Sutakun. There's no time to lose. Get out of here. Kaeru is no match for a mere adventurer. Hua, I won't let you do that. Tilda. There are a lot of things I need to ask you too. The next moment Kaeru snapped his fingers. With a thud, the door began to close. I expected this. But it seems that Kuraru was not going to let me go so easily. You are the monster tamer who captured Carolina. Do you know where my rust is? I don't think there's much to discuss here. There isn't, right? Kuraru's attachment to rust was greater than I expected. I don't think there's any hope for a peaceful resolution, no matter how hard we try now. Oh, yes, I know where you can find him. Dot really? Tell me where. She heard my answer and jumped up after gulping while screaming violently. Come on. I need an answer, and I need it now. I'm not very picky. Depending on your answer, I'll at least let you choose the least painful way to die. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. I'll get him out. Ah. Uh, take him out? That man is on my ball right now. It will be quicker to let people see these things with their own eyes than to explain them. That's why I decided to summon rust from inside the ball and show it to Kuraru. Ee -e excuse me. Kuraru Sama, as expected from Rust, he doesn't lose his temper. Summoned in front of Kuraru, Rust was shaking like a newborn fawn. Dot what are you saying? Who is this? She looks like a maid. Don't use my name so lightly. It's me, Rust. For certain reasons, I'm a woman now. But I'm definitely Rust Trizarty. Tilda? A shocking revelation has now been revealed. Kaeru turned red with anger when she realized that her favorite subordinate had changed sex. Hey. Sorcerer. I don't know what the hell this is all about. Why is my cute little Rust Chan now a bitch who seems to want to flirt with men? It was for personal reasons. But now your subordinate will work for me as a beautiful succubus girl. Don't don't be kidding me. She probably invoked the power of demonization. Enraged, Kaeru's body expanded, and her already great length became even more enormous. Zuma, grade S, LV 223. Vitality. 3032 strength 1940 magic 1220 mana 1528 skills fire magic advanced comma wind magic intermediate comma water magic intermediate comma dark magic advanced Ugh, what the hell is going on with that status with the exception of aphrodite this is the first time i've seen anyone with a status over 3000 in general 
it is likely to be slightly above Carolina status in demonic form. In any case, there is no doubt that she is an outstanding enemy. If I were to describe the appearance of the monster called Zoom in one sentence, giant Lee Sardman would be appropriate. However, there is not as much beauty in those eyes as in those of a lizard man. Her gaze was as sharp as that of a carnivorous beast. Sorcerer. Did you know? Kerr uh -huh. smiles as she opens her jaw like an alligator. The thing I love most in this world is handsome guys. And the thing I hate most is young girls. An exasperated Kuraru kicked the ground hard and lunged at me. Chapter 99 Versus the Dragon Empress 2 Ark She's very powerful. When you see her up close, this intimidating feeling wouldn't be something that could be produced by size alone. The aura of a powerful being, according to her numbers, oozed from Kuraru's entire body. Master, I'll take care of this, Vampire, Grade S, NV-173. Vitality. 1732 strength 1240 magic 1520 mana 1428 skills fire magic advanced comma wind magic advanced comma water magic advanced comma dark magic advanced comma light magic intermediate dot i looked in the direction of the voice and saw carolina who was in vampire mode ready for battle looking at it again carolina's status is still great but Nevertheless, our current opponent is still formidable. When it comes to simple hand-to-hand -hand combat, the value of strength may be the most important factor. Carolina received Kuraru's huge fist, which caused her body to be lifted into the air in a big way. Hua Tilda, I knew you'd come back after all, Carolina. Kuraru's expression was tinged with joy as she struck Carolina. Perhaps Kuraru was expecting a battle with Carolina. I thought enough. I thought the fact that there was only one salamander to fight when we arrived at this place was very strange. I'm going to take the attacks from Kuraru for a while. Master, you must find an opening and throw the ball. Understood. This is the strategy. Use my contact skill to keep in touch with Carolina, and gradually get away of Kuraru's sight. Weak. You're getting weak, Carolina. After all. Kuraru's fighting ability is out of the ordinary. I couldn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes, but, Carolina, fighting with Kuraru, seemed completely overwhelmed. 300 years ago I was no match for you. But not now. You, who weakened yourself by mixing with humans, and I, who didn't give up my pride as a demon. That's the difference between winning and losing isn't it? Ku. This is bad. Carolina can't resist anymore. The truth is, it was better to keep a little more of her attention. But we don't have that luxury anymore. Come on. It's the perfect time to take her by surprise. The capsule ball, which was thrown completely by surprise, should have hit Kuraru's body at that moment. What? But, nevertheless, at that moment, when I was sure of our victory, something surprising happened. That's a wind armor? The strong wind blowing around Kuraru's body made my ball bounce mercilessly. Hua, you're an idiot. I've heard from my men that your balls have magical powers. I'll rescue Stephanie later. Dot. She. She got me. The purpose of having the salamander in the hideout was to discern my fighting style. Think. How do I get the ball to Kuraru? From the looks of it. Wind armor seems to be constantly activated even after the ball is thrown. In other words, it's not the kind of thing that you can make your way through by surprise. Dot. Dot. Or. Could it be that she's just stuffed inside? No matter how much I think about it. Or how hard I try. I can't think of a strategy to overcome this problem. It's been like this since I got my first monster, Aphrodite, in the past. My capsule ball skill has become a must against better opponents due to its surprise factor. But, nevertheless, this skill has the disadvantage that it can be easily countered once the opponent knows how it works. When I realized the fatal weakness of the capsule ball, I went into a state of despair. Chapter 100 Versus the Dragon Empress 3 So, this became a one-sided game. Ha! Huh. Yes, that face. That's the face of despair I wanted to see on you. Kaha. Every time Kuru threw a fist, Carolina looked distressed. Mar, master. Kuru's strength is absolute, and she did not give Carolina the opportunity to reach her. Meanwhile, the capsule ball, which was our lifeline, has been completely incapacitated by the wind armor. I threw the ball a couple of times after that, but she didn't even pay attention to it. K's higher, 
You bastard. What the hell are you doing? She must have been frustrated with me because I couldn't do anything to her. Rust grabbed me by the chest, revealing her anger. Carolina Sama is in trouble. Hurry up and think of something to win this. Dot I'm already doing it. But this time, we're screwed. I can't think of anything that can beat Kuraru. Firstly, the basic specifications are too different. It's hard to make a move if the overwhelmingly superior opponent can read your hand. TSK. You weren't what I expected. Case higher. I'll have to do it myself. Hey, hey. Think about your status. There's not a single positive thing that's going to come out of ordinary the rust meddling in a battle of such great proportions. You idiot. Don't do it. I don't care. There are some things a man must do. Even if it means risking his life. I got there just in time to stop Rust from grabbing him before he charged forward. And bam. The flash of an idea in the back of my mind. Now I get it. Risking your life? I may have found a way out of this desperate situation. Thank you, Rust. Thanks to you, I now know how to deal with Kuru. It was a simple thing to do if you think about it. The enemy is an overwhelmingly superior opponent to begin with. First of all. It was a mistake to try to do something about it in a direct way. Just don't let me out of your sight, Rust. I summoned the Adamite Golem, with the aim of turning tables the situation. Whoa. This is the first time I've taken control of the Adamite Golem's body through soul manipulation. But I'm surprised his eyes are higher than I thought they would be. D.A. Dam K's higher. How do you sleep now? Who's going to help Carolina Sama if you fall asleep? Rust seemed to panic when he saw me suddenly unconscious. I can explain the situation with my contact skill, but right now, I'm wasting every second I have. Oh ooh. I take control of Adamite Gillum and charge towards Kuru with all my might. Ha, a Gillum? What can such a weak monster do? In fact, under normal circumstances, Adamite Gillum could definitely not oppose Kuru. But, Nevertheless, even if it can't win in terms of status, it's still ahead of her in terms of body size. Even if it cannot do any harm, if it tackles her with its full weight, it should at least be able to move Kuru's body. What the? Ha ha ha. I think you finally figured out what I'm aiming at. My goal wasn't to hurt her with a tackle. It was to plunge Kuru with my own body into the magma with a suicide attack. TSK. Bastard. Let me go. When I dove into the magma as I was clutching Kuru's body, I could hear a duu and the sound of her body burning. Wow, that's what the inside of magma looked like, right? You can't see anything in the sea of red fire. But it's okay. Anyway, for now, I just must concentrate on not letting go the person in front of me. Gaewih. After a while, Kuru's screams were heard. Well, I guess I was right. Fire attack immunity, Grey Day passive immunity from fire attacks if it is an adamite gillum with the fire attacks immunity skill it can move freely even if it is inside the magma but however for kuru it was different our status difference was reversed by changing the field what nonsense i who was going to become the demon lord to be here now it was impossible to watch kuru's expression because she was in the magma however it was easy to read the feelings of surprise and despair in her words. Soul manipulation skill. Release. To tell you the truth, I would have liked to taste the feel of the succubus chest, but of course I don't have time for that now. With my feet on the ground, I rushed to the side of the magma and put Adamite Glim back on the ball. That was close. If it had stayed with Kuru even a little longer, it would have been too far away to put Adamite Glim back on the ball. K's higher. Good job, master. They were probably relieved to be no longer in a battle that would have cost them their lives. Carolina and Rust embraced my body tightly. Ha 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 ha. Just being able to feel this feeling in my chest was worth the effort. Vampire and Succubus. The long and fierce battle came to an end then the two maids kept me trapped between their breasts. Chapter 101. Getting a Dragon. I'll tell you what happened next. Apparently. Riku-san was not the only demon hunter who was captured by Kuru. After successfully defeating the Dragon Empress Kuru, we decided to search her lair and free the captured demon hunters. Sutakun, I'll have to thank you for this later. If you don't mind, would you tell me where you live? Riku-san and I had a lot to discuss, but she wanted to investigate Kuru's hideout in detail, so we had to split up immediately. Of course, for Riku-san, the demon hunter, Kuru's hideout could be a treasure, but for me, it is as uninteresting as a completed dungeon. Most of all, I am tired now. I was eager to return to the mansion as soon as possible and lay down to rest. So, 
I decided to leave the Lara search to Rikusan and return home early, Tilda. After returning to the house, it was time for the usual demon combination. Hey, Sota, don't be pretentious, just tell me, did you get anything from the her or arrange? Sota-san's expression is more confident than usual. I had gathered the three usual people, Aphrodite, Carolina and Seal in the garden as an invitation to see something interesting. So, I summoned the winged lizard and the salamander with all my might. Kupo, Gusha, how pitiful. If we look closely, they're both pitiful monsters. The winged lizard is completely the same as the Lee Sardman in appearance, although it has respectable wings. Despite being a respectable dragon in appearance, the salamander has no wings. They both looked a little out of place with my ideal dragon. What would happen if I mixed these two monsters? To tell you the truth, I've been waiting for it in secret ever since I got the salamander in Kararu's lair. System message. Please choose a base demon. Aphrodite. Carolina Burton. Celo Telrud. Yoko. Rust Trizarti. Werewolf. Adamite Gillum. Kedamaro. Goblin Knight. Light Mash. Firefox. Mad Mash. Winged Lizard. Salamander. The one I chose. Here was the salamander I had just caught in the lair. The material demon is, of course. The winged lizard, salamander. I'm gonna give you some wings. System message. The following monsters may evolve. Would you like to synthesize them? Yes. No. Wyvern. Encyclopedia number 27. Race. Dragon. Grade. B. Vitality. 185. Strength. 160. Magic. 180. Mana. 155. Skills. Fire breath. Evolution conditions. Salamander X Wing Lizard, a monster that is of a medium race of the dragon race. It boasts the greatest fighting ability of any dragon of the same rank. Tamed, it can fly with other creatures on its back. In the world of video games, Wyvern is a monster that is synonymous with the orthodox dragon. It is the most popular dragon in the UK and many organizations have the illustration of a Wyvern on their logos. No tilde. My heart jumped when I saw the name of the Wyvern on the turtle car on the way home. This happiness is too much not to share with others. It was for this reason that Aphrodite and the others were gathered in the garden. Just one move away from happening. The next moment I chose yes. The two monsters were wrapped in a light that eventually became more intense. <laughs> That's great. That's it. This is what I've been waiting for all along. The dragon that emerged from the light looked exactly like a real dragon. <laughs> That's great. A real dragon. An ancient dragon. Why even? To be able to possess a high-ranking dragon. As expected from the master. After all, it's common for both men and women to get excited when they see a live dragon. From now on. You can call me Suta the Dragon Master. M. This is what Suta said he wanted to show. I honestly don't understand the difference between this and the Lizard Man. There was only one person who came out with a vague answer. But I'll let it go. Aphrodite. I don't mean to be rude, but I think you need to learn a little more about the male mind, don't you? Nice to meet you, Wyvern. <laughs> Thus, I got the dragon I had longed for through an unexpected method. Chapter 102 Epilogue saying goodbye to the master. Sutakun, to be honest, I don't know how to thank you. A few days later, Rikusan, who had completed her mission to investigate Kuru's hideout, had arrived at my home as promised. This is the money we made selling items from Kuru's hideout. I want you to take it. Hey, all this? Then Rikusan offered me a sack that felt heavy. At least. I estimated that there was about 100 million coal. The sack I received from Rikusan was filled with a large amount of platinum coins. Oh, yes. It was actually going to be more money. It's a pity that Kuru's subordinates managed to take some valuables. I'm sorry I failed to stop them. So that's what happened. Was it a mistake to leave the research of Kuru's hideout to Rikusan alone? If there were so many treasures hidden in the lair, perhaps I should have joined in. Oh. Yes, it is true. I learned later that there were many underlings waiting in Kuru's lair. Thank goodness that Kuru, who was obsessed with her unfinished business with Carolina, didn't ask for help from her men. If Kuru's subordinates had attacked as an army, I am sure we would not have had a chance. However, it is hard to believe that her subordinates would have been able to collect the valuable goods and leave the place. I guess this is also due to Kuru's bad behavior on a daily basis. Carolina San right? I'm so sorry. I've been so rude to you. Dot. Right after she gave me my reward, Riku-san bowed deeply to Carolina. Apparently, 
I was wrong, in the past, I have unilaterally assumed that demons are evil and never stopped to look more closely. But when I saw that you did not withdraw from the battle with Kuraru to protect Sutakun, I decided to change my mind. There are several types of demons. This time, I realized that the act of attacking people with a prejudiced image is the real evil. I see. I'm glad you could understand how wonderful the master is. Is it right to judge that this could be a reconciliation? In that sense, Carolina is basically inexpressive, so it's hard to know what she's thinking. Come to think of it, defeating Kaeru was Riku-san's wish, wasn't it? What are you going to do now? Dot it won't change what I do. Since I can't let more evil demons like Kuraru roam free, I think I'll leave Saint Bell and continue my demon hunting journey. In the meantime, I plan to head to the royal capital Wonderlark, the base of Blue Sky Bow, the demon hunters to whom I belong. I understand. Good luck, Riku-san. Royal capital. So, the royal capital. From what I've heard, the royal capital Wonderlark is located east of the Haru mountain range, far to the east. I'd like to go there at least once. But it takes half a day, even if I use a turtle car, and that's what bothers me. Seal, you've always wanted to go to the royal capital, right? Will you accompany me on my journey? A. A. Seal let out a disconcerted voice when suddenly she was asked to speak. That that's. Oh how do I say it? Seal staggered at Riku-san's suggestion. Wait a moment. Seal is an indispensable blacksmith in our group. Even if my opponent is Riku-san, I will not allow her to take her. Dot ha ha. It's a joke. I know you're already in love. What? Who's in love with who? Sutakun. Take good care of Seal for me. Wei I ha? Huh? Question mark. Master. In the end, that was the last thing she said and Riku-san disappeared from our sight. I feel like she dropped a big bomb at the end. But I'll stop digging so deep. 